Okay. Um, should I'd look up the author on that. See if they have committed any murders. Mobs and mobs. Yeah. This looks really cool. It does seem really cool. Can I read this really quick? This yeah. is a third level spell. It's called Hunger of Hadar. You open a gateway to the dark between the stars, a region infested with unknown horrors. A 20-foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold appears, centered on a point with range and lasting for the duration. This void is filled with a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises oh. that can be heard up to 30 feet away. No light, magical or otherwise, can illuminate the area, and creatures fully within the area are blinded. The void creates a warp in the fabric of space, and the area is difficult to rain. Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw and take or take 2d6 acid damage as milky, otherworldly tentacles rub against it. Uh, I think you should never do that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Willow's getting into her dark side. Yeah, that's gross. That sounds kind of like what you did to us in the the last episode of... Yeah, but a lot less uh, gross noises. A lot yeah. less gross Sphere noises and tentacles. Milky wait, other... Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what adventure... The, I think it was Mommy Issues at the very like end. Like Jarlaxle does that. Oh, oh right. Sphere of Darkness. Yeah, yeah right. Well, that's yeah, Sphere of Darkness. Sphere of Darkness isn't gross or hurt you. It's this just is dark. Hunger of Hadar. Yeah, that's uh, that's gross, dude. It's gross. Is that your like vibe? It. Is that something you think? No, that, but I'm, uh, that's like an I'm putting thing. it in the, in the memory bank here. I, if Adelaide could do spells. There's more pizza. Yeah, if Adelaide could do spells, she would definitely Boy, do so we're, we're like reviewing this. two different types of... We're reviewing two pizzas today. We're doing a Haggies. Oh, I love Haggies, though. It's gotta be good. And we got Hy-Vee, which is really good. It was? Oh, I thought it was, we all thought it was very tasty. Isn't Fireball, like, one of the last things to... Or do I already have... What? Huh? Huh? It's something you don't have fire for. No. Bolt I have, but Ball I don't... Fire... Wait. What's the big one? What's the one that everybody is like... Fireball. Fireball, yeah. Fireball's a pretty... But it's just a third level spell. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's just can be dangerous. Can be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the tentacles in the void. Yeah. They're just slurping pizza, man. <laughs> They're like, hey, we're just here. We're just, we're just hungry, man. You turn the light on and it's just them holding pizza. <laughs> we're trying to get free here. We're just eating. Um. Oh, there's little pieces of pepperoni in the sauce. Mmm. All right, I'll try it. No, I like little pieces. They're very tasty. Very good okay, pizza. well, I guess I'm doing a fireball. So, Shay, the reason fireball can be terrifying mm-hmm. is when you cast it at a higher level, you know? When you cast a spell using a spell slot a fourth or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot above third. So what I can... You get crazy powerful? It's already right. 8d6. Right. Wait, what? 8d6. It starts as 8d6? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's why I'm like, I think I'm going to get it. Yeah, great fireball. But wait, wait, wait. Fireball's a if great spell. If it's fire damage and we're eventually going to fight a dragon, it's not going to do shit on that dragon. Depends on the kind of dragon. You're not only fighting dragons. I promise you, there's other enemies. <sighs> they ain't all dragons. Shay, can you, fireball. do you, well, lightning bolt is the other. Yes. Right? I think... Because of who I am, mm-hmm. I can characterize it differently, which means I could give it different damage. Is that true? Maybe? Um, you can't. We have to go with the stats. Okay. It does need to be fire damage. Okay. It can look different. It can look different, but it has to still have the same stats. I think I have everything I need now. Let me go back to... <gasps> look. Where's, where is she? Where do I, how do I... Okay. All right, so I have five cantrips. I have four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching the clip from The Last Airbender. Yeah. Um, not the TV show we all know and love, the um, M. Night Shyamalan version, Ugh. where it's a group of, like, 
six earthbenders and they all do this like choreographed thing and then a rock just like kind of lazily so floats through so the screen. It's like, was this supposed to be cool right. or like, what are you doing? He's doing an action scene in a really slow manner. Efficiency does this. It's like, how can we make fire? Hey, how can we make the coolest benders of all time, firebenders, less cool? Let's they make can't them. They can't make their own fire. They can't make their own fire. That's the reason they're cool. It's because they can make fire. Well, and also it goes against the lore. Like, what are they going to do when they get to part three and they go to the Sun Warriors and they're like, and energy is everywhere. Except you can't get it. You have to go to a fire. So Wait, so that's stupid. what they did to firebenders? Yeah. Dude, in the movie? it's pathetic. It's all bad. They all always, bad. if they ever want to fight anyone ever, they have to have a brazier of fire. And then they just like go, ooh, and like a big arm like comes out of the fire. That's Dude, it's so I can't wait to see M. Night so Shyamalan's dumb. Korra, where if they're just like have pocket lighters like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, in Full Metal Alchemist, yeah. there's a cool reason for why Mustang needs to like exactly. spark because like he's making a chemical reaction occur. Exactly. It's not just like that's magic. That's not what Avatar is. Yeah, that's not what Avatar. Oh god, Mustang's so cool. Oh no, what baby? I put my shirt um, point down on this and it oh, got no. a little dent. Little dent dude. What happened? It's no, okay. it's, it's just it's, a it's little bit lived in there. Monsters it's of the Multiverse, spoopy. Okay, what's next? Are you both in the monster manual? Mm -hmm. I gotta start challenging you guys. Dude, challenging. kill us. Yeah. Try to kill us, man. He can't kill me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll move this. Character death. This is something I've been looking into recently and have been listening to a lot of DMs talk about in relation to Curse of Strahd is character death doesn't need to doesn't need to mean character non-existence just because your character dies doesn't mean that your character has to like die die you know like in Fortnite, they can be. A, they could a, come back as a ghost. They can come back in in some context. Well, there, it, it, like hell exists. Hell exists, right? So you could come. You yeah. a lot of times you come back with like a deformity or a, like a maddening condition. You know? Uh, no, I'm good. The, I think the thing uh. is like that's not the kind of game this one is. Curse of Strahd, yeah, um, but like this is not that kind of game. Sure. Um, your your Forgotten Realms campaign, mommy issues that uh -huh. one, could be like you would let us die. I'd for sure let you guys die. Um, I'm sad I haven't. Yeah, what the heck? I Wait, know that that stick should have killed you. <laughs> yeah, almost did. <laughs> but Yara's died, and that made me very sad. Yeah, Yara's dead. Maybe not permanently though. Ideally. I mean, we 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 theoretically we have her corpse. And are at a high enough level where a resurrection is possible. We gonna play? Keener's gonna be very upset if you resurrect her. He's a squirrel. He's he can dead. deal with it. He's dead. He's we, a squirrel. We, as far as we know, Keener is dead. Keener is a squirrel. We all know this. He's a very this. angry squirrel. He's Keener. Keener. Remember when when he got Oh, she doesn't remember there. because she wasn't there. Oh. I, but I sent you a big. Mabel dropped. Ke well, okay, Keenor became a squirrel because Darkle turned him into a squirrel, mm -hmm. and then uh, Mabel dropped him off the top of a very tall tower. But we all know he that that he didn't can't die happen. because we never, as, as nobody we ever know. found a corpse, a little squirrel corpse, Squirf, little squorps. Squorps. Um, Wait, but you were asking who died? Yara. Yara. Yara, Yara, Yara the tiefling, the cool tiefling. Yeah, I didn't know that. You knew yeah. that. I, I just reread that recently, that yeah, bullet pointed did. list that I sent you afterwards. Yeah, I sent Kinor, her very detailed. Kinor ended her shit, man. Yeah, anyway, that was really um, frustrating. We had High V pizza, and then oh, yes, we had a couple bites of Haggies. I know. Pizza. Um, High V pizza, we got pepperoni and cheese. It was just take a bake. Um, take a bake. Pretty good. Two thumbs up. Delicious. Let's High give, V let's pizza. Give me a, also two thumbs up for overcoming a bout of um, driving anxiety. Yeah, she really drove. Good. Yay. Big round of applause for Shay I conquering her inner pizza. Uh, so five slices for Shay and probably three. And a half for the the heavy stuff. Good crust. I think we I'm all agreed. Tastier than heavy pizza. Everything. I mean, I, I, there's not much to say about it. You know. Yeah. 
It was really convenient. Great price, eight dollars per large. Pretty much. That's Little yeah. Caesars territory. I know. It was tasty. <laughs> As you can hear, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I I I I liked. I, I actually liked it a lot. Three point five. I agree. Yeah. I liked it so much it gets right in the middle. Yeah, it gets a just above average score. <laughs> But honestly, for Take and Bake, that's... That's pretty that's damn good. No, I loved it. Like, go. the pepperoni that, that I had. That was yeah. the first slice you had. Yeah, what'd you think? It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, for sure. Probably would have been better, like, said, like, right out of the oven for you. Like, yeah. roller rink. Pizza. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yep. the crust was really good. Wasn't it? Yeah. I, I think it was just, doughy. like, maybe the cheese I think that I pe- the love. pepperoni crust was... was Sorry. Better for me personally. I think that the the cheese one got a little crispy. I actually liked how crispy it was personally. It was like cracker I, I, crumbly. I think what maybe I really want is one right in the middle. Me. It was like rubbery. The pepperoni wasn't crispy. No. Um, give it. Get, got any uh, slice slices? I'll give it like two point five. Two point okay. five. All right. Not bad for a take and bake. Not terrible. Not great. You guys are gonna be blown away by this, but I'm gonna give it a four. Woo! Because. It was really, really, it, okay, so it was very affordable. Mm-hmm. It was easy yep. to get. It's right when you walk in, mm-hmm. grab the things. I loved the ratio of pepperoni. Every single piece that we mm-hmm. cut had a good amount mm-hmm. of pepperoni, which is always an issue, I feel Agreed. like, for frozen pizzas especially. Um, so good amount. They were big pizzas, too. Like, I would say bigger than Little Caesar pizzas. And... They, it felt heartier to me. Like yeah. it felt like there was just more there in general. Um, well, Caesar's I think is fluffier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, like this was this denser. Was, it was a denser crust. Yeah. yeah. I, I liked. Had little Caesar's and it wasn't that good. Oh no. Ooh. It depends on. Is yeah, there a sometimes. hole in that thing, or was it no, just? Oh okay. It's just, it's just full, like, <laughs> that would be good. To the top. Um. But, oh yeah, so the thing that I said would improve the crust, because I loved the texture of it. I loved that it was like baked bread. Like that's what Mm. it felt like, and it was kind of pillowy. Um, Is if it just had like that butter garlic sort of um, stuff on the end. The garlic butter brush makes everything better. But other than that, I didn't have any cheese. Um, I just had pepperoni. But Mm. I think from what I could see of the cheese crust, I think a good in-between, because the pepperoni was a little bit floppy because it was baked on top and the other one was on bottom so mm. it didn't get as crispy um but the cheese one did look a little too crispy so i don't know i just had a really good time i thought it was <gasps> simple to get it was yummy and it, the i'm not a fan of red sauce as you know so the red sauce was fine mm-hmm. um which is actually good and shay talk so yeah it was a four this might be different next time but like for this experience it was a four so I'm, I'm bringing okay. that score up. Uh, 3.375. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Respectable. Pretty good. And it was said by somebody oh. that this was the first pizza that we had. I said that when because... When we played D&D. I remember sitting over there, mm-hmm. and we took a break in the middle, and we were like, we didn't know what to eat, so we just got pizza from hy V. Mm-hmm. And so then we had the pizza, like, in the mm-hmm. middle of d and I'm pretty sure it was the first pizza we ever had, because it wasn't frozen pizza. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. from hy V. I can't tell if the... Oh, this is like... On? Yeah. This is... Oh, that was for, um, that's just like a blank sheet, so you don't need it. You can, it was just out there if somebody needed it. Is it off? I thought Fletcher was gonna... Uh, now <laughs> Surprise! Saying, uh, everybody make new characters <laughs> right now. Everybody's dead. dead. New character time. Um... All right, everyone's leveled. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bye, pizza. Still, oh, before you sit down, Joseph, can you see if I have my 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 flashcards for sorcerer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Don't use them all. Thank you. Hey there. Thank you for. Somebody here. Oh. I thought you were saying hey there. Oh shit. Just checking which uh, which sound effect was the thing I wanted. Why isn't this open? Yeah. Hey Joe. Mm-hmm. Um, the two switches on the left behind you. You want to hit those? Nice. Ooh. Ah, fair. Excuse me. 
You're excused. Thank you. All right, let's let's count them out together, friends. Um, magic. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I have that? No. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> I think Ava does though, so you might want this. I think. Yeah, I she has to magic. Play Jasmine. You do have to play Jasmine. Move curse. Protect. Where did all of mine go? I had them all. Maybe they are separated somewhere. But like, why would I have put it anywhere else? I don't know. Your dad talking? Yes. Yes. Where are they? Should we close the doors then, or what? Mm, yeah, maybe. <gasps> Hunger of Hadar, I found it. Let's see, Firebolt, Mage Hand, Message, Ray of Frost, Charm Person, Comparing Languages, Detect where? Magic, Fight for Near Magic Missile. Did I maybe put them in like... Maybe I put them in like a pocket over here. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise on my mic. Mike seems to be like more in the way than usual. <laughs> I don't know where I would have gone. Are you sure they're just not mixed in? But why would I have put in, put them know. back mixed in? Let me look through parts of them. Give me half the stack, and I can look. Yeah, I just am hesitant to do that because they're um, alphabetical. All right, what's, what's some of your spells? Well, that's the th what What letters do you have? A through Well, then I H. have Fireball, Enhance Ability. Yeah, look for Fireball and Enhance Ability first. Nope. Chromatic orb. Chromatic orb? Chromatic. I have fireball. I feel like I... I put them somewhere. Like, I feel like... You probably did. But where would I have put them? I don't know. Enhance ability, you said? Yeah, I have that. Oh, you have it already? No, like I have it, so I need it. Sorry, I... Yeah. What else? Um... Um, chromatic orb, shield... Witch bolt. Witch bolt. Mm-hmm. It's a cool name. Yeah. Mending message. Um. Message. Ray of frost. No. It's, that must be a. I have mage bird. hand. Yeah, it is a bardo thing. Mage hand. Are you going with arms of Hadar? No. <laughs> Arms of Hawaii? That wasn't it either. It was no. hunger, but that's Hadar. It's probably just as creepy. Burning hands. No. Charm person. My hands burn. No. Where would I? What's the place that I would have been like? I'm gonna keep these out because I'm gonna need them next time. Are they in your little chest? Nope. Ugh. Am I my dummy? Protection from evil and good. No. Ray of sickness. No. I might have just found them. I've I've found cards that are. Oh oh here yeah. Although pulse wave, have you seen pulse wave? That's a new one. I have not. Okay, so I found a bunch of them here. But you could write it on that if you wanted. That's true. This one's very smoky. Yeah, he's burning something. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, first of all, what the heck happened last time? Tell Not us. the whole game, just last time. <laughs> last time. Um, <laughs> where, where's the dog? Outside, I think. <sighs> Maybe we should. Close yeah, that. we should probably shut the door. Thank you, Mama. ASMR food. <laughs> Gotta do the other one. So close. <laughs> Come on. Get the grip in there. Damn. Jesus. That was, that was stuck. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, last we saw our intrepid adventurers. We were traveling to meet up with a dragon. Just meet up, hang out. Just meet up, hang out, chill with the dragon. We are now vibing with um, Imner. Was this the episode where we were stuck in our own personal nightmares for a little bit? For it minute, was. Yeah. So it started okay. out with a dream. Mm, mm. Snowy um, Tower. Yeah, well, yeah. So we, we saw uh, Malfestus, the bad guy, um, doing some sort of uh, ritual. He was chatting with Devos, uh, his second in command, saying stuff like, now you won't have to worry about if I'll succeed because I will. And then he did a ritual, and we saw flashes of stuff through Willow's eyes. This was Willow having this dream slash, you know, clairvoyance. Kind of just seeing mm -hmm. in on what he was doing. Um, and the things that Willow saw were... A snowy tower. Mm -hmm. Dwarf red chain mail. Mm -hmm. A dwarf um, in this, red chain mail? This is probably shorthand, so sorry. Gimli. Wooden door gold gears... Mm -hmm. Six people waterfall. Mm -hmm. Golden woman falling to the, the snowy tower. Yes, I should say that the snowy tower was, that's when you saw it. Like the the, the order it was, oh, okay. it started with the dwarf. I and probably then, wrote it. And then the whatever. Okay, then. so the, the golden woman uh, falling to the snowy tower. Fabric of energy, which I wrote the weave perhaps because that's what we've been. One would assume. And then Imner smiling. Interesting. Yay. Imner just going. At least Imner's happy. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Um, and then she woke up and wasn't feeling great. No, I was like, oh. Uh, uh, Imner stomach. said, hmm, I felt a ripple in the weave. It must have been whatever you saw in your little dream. My little, um, little dream. Jasmine had a theory that because Je uh, Willow was seeing things and not actually experiencing them, that it, perhaps it was a type of illusion. And Imner was like, hmm, what a odd coincidence that I happen to know someone who lives just down the road who mm. specializes in illusions, which mm. I do not. Let's go pay him a visit and also maybe get some hot food. Um, Yay, hot food. They y'all went to the castle of Gaseb Vale, uh, which is uh, Imner's old elf buddy who um, specializes in illusions. And uh, he. Oh boy, did we ever have some illusions? You sure did. You went there was in a pile of dirt. The pile of dirt. You went into this uh, immaculate castle that was just empty, um, and slowly, one by one, you. You started exploring, and you noticed things that kind of led you off from the group. Um, you each uh, had a little little uh, confrontation with your confrontation. stuff from the past. Um, and you, it was all very sad. Everyone was a little bummed out. Yep. So, Except for Willow, who didn't quite get a chance to get fully bummed out. Because oh, I was bummed out just by being at my home and seeing my mom. Yeah. No, I got, a, I got a really scary one, I thought, because... I, I hear my mom, I go to my mom in my old mm -hmm. bedroom or her bedroom at the castle, and she's like, oh, come here. And I come to her, and I fall into her lap, and I cry. And then all of a sudden, she, like, transforms mm -hmm. into, was it, what was it? You, you hear a creepy voice through her mouth, and she says, ooh, um, 
you've got something else going on in your brain, buddy. Um, <laughs> My mom's hating on me. <laughs> and uh, you all sort of come to, at, uh, you're all laying on the ground, and Emner's like, hey, guys, uh, so shit's going down. It's not actually good. Wakey, wakey. Um, and we're, we're going to have to fight this Mind Flare who has been tricking you all. Mind um, Flare. Very sad about it. The Mind Flare apparently could sense Malfestus, your connection to Malfestus, Willow's connection to Malfestus, through mm-hmm. her mind. Through um, And started having a little... Uh, chat with him mm-hmm. um little uh instant message chat about like slid into his dms via my brain <laughs> yep <laughs> um uh, and nothing slides like a mind flare let me tell that's you that's right uh started to like call him to to uh because he, he could sense that you know yeah malfestus wanted Malfestus, Willow and, you up um so basically you guys were on a timer now you're like oh snap this mind flare is going to call Malfestus here if we don't kill him right now mm-hmm. so you have a big old fight um i feel like ivor in classic ivor f- uh, fashion gets knocked down multiple times but gets back up <laughs> what's up y'all um, I'm the tank. <laughs> but this time he's wearing a corset so that's new that's it's hot. So this, uh, this time it's hot <laughs> uh lovey um did another cool uh climbing on the walls throwing fireballs or uh, molotov cocktails yep. down it down at Folk. That's my version of um, And then she the, yeah. f- almost fell Fireball. off a wall because it wasn't actually there. She just thought it was because it was an illusion. illusion. Um, Willow got some shots in, but also she was just hearing some crazy stuff between Mafestus and the other guy. And then I disappeared. Um, yeah, she, she, she did some wild magic and disappeared for a minute. Um, let's see. Jasmine uh, tripped in a hole. Yay! <laughs> Woo, Jasmine! That was her deal. That's what um, happens when you are. Let's see, Ivor. <laughs> not around. Uh, and Imner almost got uh, the mind flare killed, um, down to down to being dead, and then suddenly, a uh, hooded figure shows up behind the mind flare and Gosh. says this you know, something to the effect of this: "The last assistance you'll be getting from me," and slits the mind flare's throat and then disappears again. So um, Devos. I- is my favorite character now. Yeah, we... So that was Devos. Yeah. Well, you we determined... she uh, Willow determined via having seen him in the... in the. Um, I love a morally gray oh, character. Oh, seeing oh, him through the thing. Oh! What, what? Devos helped you in the beginning. Huh? Tell me. Devos helped you. In the, he's been helping you all along. Because the... <laughs> Interesting that's, theory. Tell me, tell me. That's because... I always thought, I always thought Devos fucked up by casting the spell that turned you into stone. Because that also fucks up Malfestus. Right, because that loot, Molly, nobody can hear you. Oh. (laughs) Because it fucks with, yeah, it fucks with Malfestus. Um, So we. He did it on purpose so that you. Would be safe. Would be safe in stone from Malfestus's reach. Maybe. And then he just helped us again. Because he has a crush on you. Yes. <laughs> because. I mean, I am kind of down now. So. Ooh, wow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you, uh, Willow is pretty sure based off of the markings on the, the shoulders. and. He's and literally the man of my dreams. <laughs> Imner, Imner kind of, I think he he's pretty sure as well that that was Devos. Um, for whatever reason, assisting you by killing mm-hmm. the Mind Flare. Um, and not taking you to Malfestus. Um, you guys looted a little bit. You found some books about illusion Yay. and uh, maybe some gold. I don't remember. Um, Better hope you wrote it down. But uh, you camped in the main hall and then you you went on your way. Um, anything else that happened? Um. Ow, shaking my head hurts. Aww. Sorry. I don't think so. Okay, cool. What was what was the next like when we wake up in the morning we're going to go to continue on towards okay. towards the dragon, dragon place land. which I dragon don't know if I ever told you exactly but I believe it's in the Great Peak Mountains. Okay. Don't quote me on that. Um and it doesn't oh, matter I'm because gonna. none of you were looking at the map. No, I suppose not. <laughs> Only I need to know what the mountain is called. I am in I'll fact take the Great Peaks might be a different mountain. That is important also. I know it's important because I remember what it's called, but I don't remember if it's this one or a different mountain. It's not the Lonely Mountain. It is not. You can start, but I am, in fact, I, I, I'm desperately trying to find these things. So, um, you know, if I'm involved in the very first scene, maybe hold off. Okay. Um, you are only as involved as you would like to be. Cool. She's sleeping in. 
Um, let's listen to a quick little theme song. Okay. Yay! Love that. Beast within stone, book two, ripples in the weave, chapter four. Gore blood, the eviscerator. Yeah! Oh, shoot. Ah! Wait, can we smell? <laughs> gore what? Gore blood. Gore blood. <laughs> the eviscerator. Hey guys, how does one spell it? That's evis- a scary name. It's a great name. Gore blood. E- I V. Uh, E-V-I-S-O-R-A-T-O-R. Wait, E-V-I-S-O-R-A-T-O-R. I have a prediction about Gore Blood the Eviscerator. Tell me. He's going to be real real cuddly and sweet. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. I bet he's a big old softy. I bet he doesn't like killing people. Possible. A soft breeze rustles the tall blades of grass. Boots crunch the soil beneath them. Insects hum in, a, in swells, but no sound is as loud as the grumblings from Lovey's tummy. Aww. <laughs> True. Um, basically, you guys have been walking, uh, tramping down these trails, heading towards the dragon. Nice. Nice, yeah. Are we, uh, I'm guessing we're, we're out of food then, where we're getting low. Yeah, you have been uh, getting, getting low. Um, and I mean, it's also been a, a, a ways since uh, breakfast, you know. Yeah. Can you guys, we not just ask um, Imner to like give us some ranch? Magic some food. Good. Imner? Yes, lovey. I'm hungry. Uh. What would you like? Can you give me anything? You'll have to tell me what you want before I can tell you if I can give it to you. Well, I don't know. I'm like indecisive when it comes to this. What do you guys want? <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter. What, what do you are we want? Feeling like Ivor is nowhere to be seen. I... Wait a minute. Where's Wait. where is Jasmine Ivor? Jasmine looks around. I- Ivor? Has anyone seen an Ivor? Shh. How- you hear from somewhere off in the tall grass. I'm getting lunch. <gasps> Whatever he gets, I don't want it. I didn't we'll know that like first. you could hunt for those gross grain bars. <laughs> Nut bars that he has. I think they. If they if it's that much trouble, food. he could just not. I thought they were vegan. Um, I. What's a vegan? <laughs> I'm, it's something Some from the past. Some sort of monster. <laughs> I don't um, understand. Ivor is about to throw a spear at a grouse that he has spotted. A grouse. Yeah. Um. Thirteen, to hit the grouse with the spear. Um. What? You remind me what a grouse is. It's like a small. Like waterfowl, ground bird. mouse, ground <laughs> mouse. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it would be in D anD. d Like a no. pheasant. <laughs> what oh, is the AC of a pheasant? Grouse is a real sounds... animal. It's not a D anD. d That's not a D anD. d animal. Oh, I also thought it was a D anD. d animal. Um, you're you're sneaking around. Go ahead and give me advantage. Okay. Just for fun. That's a nat twenty, my friend. Ooh, he's gonna Pretty get sure that grouse. Okay. Uh, you, um. So it's like a pheasant yeah. size, and you're hitting it with a large spear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna. Eviscer- you hit it. It is. <laughs> it is eviscerized. Ooh, that is. You, you, there's like a puff of feathers, <laughs> um, and uh, then you, you go and collect your your prize, yes. your 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 uh, your bounty, and it is pretty mangled. Yeah, I bet it is. Pretty darn mangled. Stew meat. I come out. I come out of the tall grass, holding a almost indistinguishable mess of feathers and gore. Lunch. Uh, 
like Yay. do we eat it like that or you, if you are in dire circumstances yes i but don't think we are we are more civilized we will cook it yes civilized stew. i like civilized i drop it into a bag oh around that's me. you're making the stew in a bag you can but i will use pot mm. is that a sous vide he drops. Making yeah, stew he in drops a bag. it. He drops it into a plastic <laughs> thing and seals it. <laughs> brings out an immersion circulator. <laughs> Perfect 130 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Um, Jasmine's like, I, I am not eating that. Uh, oh, thank God! And she sees a town. Uh. Um, she sees uh, bits of a town. You know, like the the smatterings of houses that that begin at the edge mm -hmm. of, of a village. Um, hopefully they have a tavern, because I'm not eating your... What was that before you speared it? Some sort of bird. Like a ground bird. Like I'm, the small kind. I am with Jasmine on this. I'm not eating your remains of a bird. I just no. killed it. It's fresh. You know, I'd try anything once, but, I, but if attitude. I don't like it... You don't have to try it twice. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this? I will trade my bird for food so it won't go to waste. Will people want it? Who would not want fresh meat? I mean, I feel like four Jasmine out of five and of us. Imner raised their hands. What was, what was that? Four out of five of us. Four maybe? out of five of us? <laughs> <laughs> You're all sissies. And Ivor kind of storms forward in the I was going to say, or what? Just get to the town faster? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the boundless grass that you had been walking uh, across for a day or so now uh, gives way to more cultivated fields, um, or ha had given way to more cultivated fields, uh, fields less than an hour ago. Uh, the ground under your feet uh, could now be charitably called a path, winding its <laughs> way around the knolls, um, on the left and the Knowles? right. Knolls? Shit! Yes, that, that... Oh, yeah. God! They're just piled up into knolls. <laughs> oh, no. A knoll of knolls. No oh, Jesus. An old knoll. Um, houses occasionally sit on the on the path, uh, set back a ways from it, and often flanked by a path of trees. Uh, soon, you can smell the scent of bread and roasting meat. <gasps> Ooh. Bread! Uh, beginning to fill the air as the path becomes more worn. And after only a short time, uh, you find yourselves entering a rather dense village. Um, dense as in, like, the architecture? Like yeah, the, okay. everything's kind of packed together. Are, are the streets also dense with people? Uh, currently, there's a market set up along the main path um, just inside okay. the village, and the smells Shopping of food episode. become stronger. <laughs> right now, I feel like Willow feels like um, kind of a mix between Jasmine and Aladdin. Where, mm. like, you're a princess and you're finally out in the market. Like, people just bought food for me, right? It was prepared for yeah. me. So I'm like, oh, my God, this is kind of exciting, like, to see how the how the laymen work and, <laughs> you know. Um, and also, like, Entangled when she goes into the she market and the she's skipping and, you know, her hair break. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel right now. So I'm all, like, <gasps> very excited. <laughs> um, yeah. I would like to find somebody who looks like they... Uh, trade in animal meat and animal meat get your animal <laughs> meat. <laughs> fresh meat from an animal right here he definitely trades animal meat i don't know i walk up to him and i lean on the i lean on the um counter the hot yeah. stove yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey there phillips <laughs> <laughs> hello i see you are a uh how you say Seller of meat. I, I purvey the animal meats and the, the meats of animals. Well, I would be interested in selling something to you for monies. All right, what you got? You got uh, bird, got yes, reptile, yes. got humanoid. No. Okay. Humanoid? But only I overhear. Yes. Do you sell? Do you what kind of human? <laughs> do you serve human? When you say humanoid... Do you mean the, the the silhouette is is similar to humans? Got two arms, two legs, head. I point at Lovey. Which like 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 this? I didn't say sentient. Okay, <laughs> sentient. I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I didn't say sentient. I didn't say sentient. 
okay. I just back I'm up just slowly. I'm just saying your garden start. variety vermin, humanoids, your goblins, your... Right. your uh, I'm, I'm going to. Oh, you know, there's other ones. Very sentient. He begins to list <laughs> sentient creatures. <laughs> Okay. Well, I did not not say sentient, though. I, <laughs> I didn't I, say I, it, I, and I, I did mean, not say it. Mr. Meat Seller, I'm not here to debate the sentientness of this bird, but I can speak on the quality. Killed not 15 minutes ago out there on the road, and I plunk the hunk of feathers and <laughs> just, ro- it looks like roadkill on his counter. How much? Does he love it? Boy, it's not really a mint condition there, is it? Uh, uh, it just hasn't been dressed yet. God, I'm how sure about, you, uh, you process I'll all give me things. 10 copper. Is that a lot? <laughs> is it to you? I don't know how this money oh, thing it's, works. Yeah, it's a whole bunch. <laughs> You're too generous. I cannot, as a good communalist, accept such a high price. I will take five. Three. <laughs> 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 the best communalists, whatever those are among us, would only take three. Wow, you have communalists in this part of the town. Ivor puts I'm his not. hand holding the pamphlet like back <laughs> into his bag. I step up to this dude. I step up to this dude. You're going to give us, what do you say? Three. Ten? Three copper. Ten? You're going to give us ten. Well, I said three last. That was the last offer I currently okay. made. Lovey, I talked him down to three. No. <laughs> That's like one apiece, and then the old man and the other one, the, the little devil over there, they can just you know, not hey, have hey, any. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. This is not... I don't need to talk about my friend like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Of fiendish heritage. That's us... the Listen, politically correct one term. one piece, man. Oh, is that more? Yeah, it's no. more. But that's but I can't I could not accept so much. He well, knows I'm gonna what, accept look, it. The, the man knows what he's looking for, which is less money than I was gonna give him originally. <laughs> hey, let's all just reach a compromise here. How about you just give Lavi the money? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll just remove myself from the equation. Lavi I'll give you two copper. That's less. That's a great deal. <laughs> I know, but the problem is he has now given you the meat, which means it's on the secondary market. <laughs> oh my god! And as soon as it trades hands, it, de- it. it devalues. Keep the, Keep the money. I don't need this. <laughs> oh wait, then I'm taking my bird at the back. And Ivor grabs the bird and just... Nobody what wants, a farce. Nobody wants my bird. What off. a farce. And I put it back in my bag. He puts his two copper back in his bag. <laughs> You're lost, my man. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was uh, nice and goofy. Um, Imner says, are you finished with your transaction? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nobody wants my bird that I got. It's not nice. Is that him like, putting it? <laughs> yeah, he's like stuffing. <laughs> <my bird. laughs> he's Nobody like, wants it. Who likes it. my bird? <laughs> Just getting my real dice. Well, Jasmine and I have found a tavern here in town if you would like to have some food that is not mostly shredded by a spear. If you look around... Um, I don't criticize the way that you do magic, Mr. Magic Man. It's because I do magic very well. I'm magic man. Well, I wouldn't know because I don't do magic. But you don't know anything about hunting and you were coming at me with this blue ivor. Your bird is all gross. <laughs> he has you. a face... <laughs> that, that appears to be uh, trying to decide whether or not to ethically show you up with magic. <laughs> um, but instead he says, I would like bread. Bread sounds good right now. Bread is good. Um, you don't see Willow. Oh, is she gone? But you do hear distant laughing. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Like evil witch laughing? Or? I We've lost another one. <laughs> She's probably hunting. Well, if you guys are going to go find Willow, I'm going to go get lost myself. No. no we, uh. <laughs> okay, Lovey goes off then, just disappears into the crowd. I can be like saying. Um, yeah, they, they look around for Willow. Um, are you trying not to be found? No, I'm just, I'm busy. Getting okay. Um, you can follow the sound of laughter. Yeah, they'll, they'll do that. <gasps> um, where where has Willow ended up? Um, there is a group of uh, children um, all braiding my hair and putting flowers in it. Oh, <laughs> like, like that's so cute. And then I give them each two gold pieces. <laughs> Just as a small tip. 
Just as a, yeah. Oh, for, the, for the hairdressing. Oh, it is lovely. I've never had a younger sibling before. It's like a day's wages. This is so beautiful. You did such a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Here you, you go. You've doubled the Here GDP of our town by three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Here you go. Um, yeah, they're, they all very excitedly uh, go straight over to the meat vendor. Um, <laughs> Popular guy. And they, they, they all get um, tasty little kebabs. Um, Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Uh, you, you get like uh, three pieces on. One's a reptile, one's a humanoid, and one's a... Oh, bird. my God. Jesus. That's horrifying. Um, little mixed platter. Yeah, a little, little sampler. Little, so anyway, this little is stand up. Surf and turf and turf. The non-sentient sampler. <laughs> surf, oh, surf, where, did, um, where did Luffy surf go? Surf and turf and sentience. <laughs> That's another yeah. t-shirt. Oh, God. Where did Luffy go? Where indeed. Luffy! Well, um, how did you find me? You were laughing loud. Okay, well then let's follow the sound of Lovey's laughter. Lovey does not laugh. Let's so listen. So I'll make a listen check. All right. She just... I, I'm listening for the sound of somebody's... <gasps> I got a nap toy! <laughs> Jesus. If there is any laughter to be had... I'm not laughing. There is none <laughs> laughter to be heard. I definitely 100% do not hear her. Uh, you don't hear so, saying, Yeah, nobody... <laughs> Yeah, you only said you were listening for laughter. Do, do we hear something else? You hear screaming. <laughs> little. Um, yeah, what's what what I was about to say. Yeah, what like is my squishing? Squishy feet. Yeah. Wait, what, why are your feet squishy? It's my sticky shoes. Oh, the spider climb shoes. <laughs> um, yes. So these buildings, right? It's, you said super condensed. Yeah. Are they tall? Uh, two stories at max. Sweet and condensed. Uh, I'd love to just like, like, have started walking up one. <laughs> okay. Um, I gotta use the restroom real quick, and then we will return to how Lovey is climbing things. Probably the same as she yeah. always does. Do you, have, do you have trouble turning them off, the sticky shoes? I don't know if you can. They're constantly just on. I feel like yeah. normally somebody would only wear them when they're about to use them for their purpose, but Lovey I just likes them. All the them. Time. Yeah. So she just wears them. So it's them. just always like you're walking on Velcro? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just always super loud. I love that. <laughs> I can't find my gosh darn pulse wave or spare the dying. And it makes me upset. Your what what? Oh, your what 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 what? Exactly. Your who or your what now? Keep looking through them. I think they're just so, they stick together so I can't get them very well. I did her cards. Your tarot? Yeah, I put the golden flag. How does this, how does one? Spare the dying pulse wave. Lovey's reading a Maps of Consciousness book. Yeah. No. As she's walking up the wall. No, Lovey can't read. Uh oh. Is that why she's probably said to Ivor, like, yeah, I've read the pamphlet like so many times. The pamphlet's so much. <laughs> I read it every night. Before I go to sleep. <laughs> it puts me right to bed. Mm -hmm. There are some new things on here. Yeah. There's a whisk. There's a ladle. There's a spoon. Ooh, that'd be good for Bip. Super Is this new stuff? Yeah. Nice. There's some fishes now. Frozen fish. Frozen? Frozen fish? Yeah, and fishy poles.
Mm. Hey, Bab, can you bring the cookies over? Please, Thank you. To find them all? No, I need to find Spare the Dying and Pulse Wave. So some of them are really, really tightly stuck together. So I'm going through mm. them for like a third time and like squeezing each one to try to see if it's stuck to another one. But so far, no. All right. So Lovey is atop a building. <clears throat> Just uh, looking around, being, yeah. being Spider-Man. Did yeah? Do any of us see this? So um, if I I didn't hear laughter, but did I hear her scorching uh, shoes? I got a three to spot her. Uh, I would say probably not. You're looking in the crowd with a three. <laughs> you're looking down. You're not checking up. Um, I'm shoe gazing. You might yeah. have heard. You you tuned out the scorching because you were listening for laughter. Dang. Um. So yeah, no nobody uh. Nobody quite knows where Lovey is. Well, what what is uh, I'm sure we're fine. We can just Lovey keep going. Lovey looking for anything up there? Uh yeah, I'm looking around. I want to see like I'm looking at the crowd specifically. I want to like just get a sense for what type of people live here. Um like do I look around and see a bunch of people like do I see any like fellow thieves? Thieving? Yeah, are there like uh, pickpocketers? Go ahead and make like a search or spot or investigation yeah, or perception something. All right. Uh, 17 for perception. Ooh. 17 for perception. Uh, yeah, so you notice someone who um, clearly does not want to be seen. Um, Ooh. They are. Uh, they're they're wearing their their style seems to be sort of every manish blend into the crowd not mm. not like dark to hide in shadows because it's it's the middle of the day they're just kind of like dressed like everyone else they are um they so it's like a market right um there is uh you notice that a lot of the kids have like face paint. Mm -hmm. um, someone's been doing doing some fun little face paint. Um, a lot of the kids looking like uh, um, animals, tigers, lions, birds, that kind of stuff. Uh, you notice this uh, creature um, that is pretty clearly trying to look like they have face paint, but is mm. just actually um, got like a tiger face. Whoa. <gasps> Is that the one that's trying to, like, just blend in? Yeah. That, so, one? Yeah. So their their method of blending in is they just happen to look like a lot of the other kids. They're, they're shorter, um, kind of about your stature, maybe, you know, like, child mm. size. Um, mm. But they have, um, like, a whole kind of kind of short little snout um, that's, that's a, or muzzle like a, like a little, like a little tiger. Um you notice their their hands seem very uh, round. Um, pause. A, as they sort of reach in and out of tiger pockets. Pause. Well, tiger paws reaching in and out of pockets, pickpocketing Ooh. people here and there. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'd like to go find them. I'd like to track them down. Okay, uh, go ahead and hey, can I get one of those blank character sheets? I just want to like have a reference of what the skills are. Yeah. Are they not on the inside of your? DMG or is you know this... what maybe there. This is a fourth edition DMG, right? Yeah, it's mostly like the states like um, blinded or charmed. Or yeah. Whatever. But this doesn't have them all. This is the this is a simplified one. It doesn't have it on a simplified one. It doesn't have like all the skills. Well, that's listed. stupid. Here, let me get you one. Yeah, if you don't mind. Give me a complicated one. Yeah, give me the yeah, complicated, right? Okay. Um. Not have as complicated as the Star Wars. Oh my God. RPG. Okay. Uh, tell me this. How how are you following this this uh, creature? Um, well, ideally, I saw like their trajectory when I was up on the building. Mm -hmm. Are you like wanna... trying to stay hidden? Uh, I mean, just walking around. I feel like I'm pretty hidden. 
Um, okay, well, well then... Until I get close to them, I'm not trying to be hidden. Uh, okay, so yeah, you follow them on their trajectory. Uh, while you're up there, you also notice the rest of your group um, Just going looking like around this. for Lovey. Lovey. Um, and then Lovey. Uh, Willow shrugs and they kind of uh, start heading towards a tavern. Um, okay, good to know. Uh, where is, is this dude heading towards the tavern? Uh, no, kind of heading in the opposite direction towards where you entered the town. Um, it seems like uh, they're kind of just weaving in and out of the, like zigzagging across the crowd, picking pocket here, picking one over here, pick, 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 pick. Um, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, pick a little, pick a little. You met a panther. Okay. Who was also a thief. Ooh. The best character. The best character. Okay. Mm, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Do you not like this voice? I love it. I'm glad I remember it every time. It's a good one. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the. It's hard to it reminds me of. It's like that she... cat from Crazy Racers. Crazy Racers. I, I don't. Here, I'll, I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> crazy Racers. You know, Crazy Racers. Mm, yeah, you know, Crazy Racers, that popular show. No, it reminds me of the um, Powerpuff Girls. <sighs> Which one? Her. Her. Yeah. Her? There's a character the called demon? Her? The demon Her. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Sounds like, yes. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, so you you head towards uh, back towards the edge of town where you guys entered, and um, we will uh, check in with you in just a second. We're going to go back to the rest of the crew who has entered the tavern. Um, you, uh, it seems like it's just kind of, you know, grab a booth. Someone will be with you, kind of thing. Um, so you grab a booth, and someone's over to to check in on you. It says, uh, "Boy, you look like uh, some new faces here. What uh, what can I get you?" And Do it's you this, like my hair? Uh, it's a lot of flowers. Very festive. Very it's beautiful. Floral. The children in town braided it for me. Oh, you uh, you might you might want to take those out. That could be poison ivy. Ah! That's okay. Hope you didn't pay him or anything. Uh, anyways, uh, what'll it be? Well, how would you like a barter for? Uh, <laughs> He's still trying to get rid yes, of it. Yes, I have this beautiful. I have this beautiful ground bird that I recently killed, and is, I. Are you, so it's a bird from a ground, or you've ground up a bird? No, no, no. Look, a it's, it's a full bird. I hold it up. Um. Is this bird? It was on the ground. The bird is just chilling on the ground, and I killed it with my spear, because I'm a great hunter from the north. Okay. Um. Gosh, I gotta say, I don't know if the health code f- works with that. The what? The code of health. We like, uh, you know, we got, we gotta know where the the meat comes from, and you, just, we don't really look. I gotta Came be from honest. right out there on your road. I don't know who you people are. We're just road. look. Well, I'm Ivor of the Clan of the Bear. Now we know each other. <sighs> Do you have custard and berries and cream? Uh, we have eggs and milk, and we can probably whip those together if that works. Yes, please. Okay. Um, listen, buddy. This it's not like a two ways kind of thing. You know, if you want food, we give you food. If you have food, then that's not our problem. If you have food, that's not But it's problem. not food yet. It could be food. But I, I, right now, I'm offering you a trade. Ugh. Well, let me get my manager. Um, <laughs> custard. Do you Ivor's have, a Okay. Uh, one custard, one manager. Uh, anyone else? Ivor. Um, Jasmine. Um, Imner and Jasmine. Does the manager involve meat? Uh, if you ask them about the meat that you have, then yeah, I suppose it involves them. manager with a side of meat, please? Yes. Um, Imner... Uh, orders um, some ranch and carrots. Classic. Classic. He's got to he's got to scope out the competition. Yeah, classic forgotten um, realms. Because if he <laughs> likes this place, then he would steal from here. Exactly. That's ridiculous. Um, and Jasmine uh, orders. Let's see, probably some bread for the table. Nice. And nice um, a stew. Classic. It's a tavern, they gotta have stew. Yeah, I gotta have That's, stew. I mean, what, else, what yeah. else do taverns have? What would it be if it custard, didn't? Custard, apparently. Yeah. Um, and I want to see if they can make custard drinks properly. Drinks for everybody. It is gonna be like wh- uh, whipped eggs and cream. It's not, no. No sugar. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and berries. So, uh, yeah, they go off to do that. A manager comes over um, who is just like this. You you see them, the, the way to go over to um uh this kind of uh portly man uh. sitting at the bar and you hear the the muffled grumbles of 
Because <laughs> uh, you can't quite make it out through yeah. uh, through the din, but you can tell that he's you know he's got that uh, that kind of tone, and he's mm-hmm. like. <laughs> um, and he <laughs> he gets off his stool and he comes on over and says, "So what would be the problem?" Well, I, I'm not. It's I more of an opportunity. Yes, it's a, thank you. It's an opportunity for this fine establishment. I am a hunter, and I just killed this beautiful bird. And you could uh, take it and you know cook it and sell it as a local ground bird. And I would like to trade in exchange for some food for me and my friends. Barter, eh? You guys have that here, right? Yeah, we can grill up your ground bird. Oh, well, you don't have to cook it for me, but I'd eat it, sure. Nobody else wants it. Hey. Sorry, bud. We got stew. We got bread. We got... The stew that my friend ordered. Could you put the bird in that? Oh, no. Uh, please, please, no. I don't, I don't want... <sighs> I don't this understand. This table going to be trouble. Why is this? No, I'm just genuinely... <laughs> I'm trying We're to... We're new in town. I don't know if you... I'm just trying to exchange. Listen, pal... There's a sign on the door. Uh-huh. I like how Imner is just not saying anything. Like, they are he, not. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> we caused trouble no matter where this we go. This is like a 10-minute stop. Uh, we're supposed to be getting a dragon. Um, there's a sign on the door. It says, no solicitation. Is it, is it locked? No. You're getting it. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Well, this doesn't need too much time on my part, so let's just hurry this along by saying that Ivor gets fe- his feelings get really hurt, yeah. and he retires to the alleyway to cook the bird over a trash fire. <laughs> oh, no! That's yeah. Ivor's arc. <laughs> he Five. cooks a bird over a trash fire. Does yeah. not improve the flavor. Um, the... Uh, other people standing around the, the trash fire, even though it is the middle of the day, are wearing their coats with their little fingers, gloves, they're like warming their hands. And as soon as you start cooking the fire or the bird, they're like they start inching away because of all <laughs> the, the strange smells yeah. from this now like you know hour dead meat that you've just had I in your bag. I, I mean, it wouldn't be that. Would, Ivor like goes. Ivor goes hour. about eating it, and like every mouthful, he's like spitting out bone fragments. Oh God. And through the window, you see Jasmine and, and uh, <laughs> Imner and, yeah. and Willow enjoying the bread. Tucking into, like, a beautiful meal. I'm, um, like, I out, outside squatting over my trash fire. Yeah. I look in the window and I go, it's delicious. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's cut back over to Lovey, um, who has just about caught up to this uh, tiger-faced creature at the edge of town. Um, you see them duck around a corner. Uh, just at the edge of town. Um, seems like they, they have made their way all the way through the crowd, so uh, they're probably not going back in for another run of pickpocketing. I wonder um, if they know they're being followed. Uh, interesting. You start hearing um, some clamor from the crowd about, uh, hey, where's my 10 cop or whatever? I don't know. George Lucas? <laughs> Boy, of course I, he's here. I, uh, I, I gotta tell you, I got a, a new movie coming out. It's, <laughs> it's all about a, a little kid, and uh, and it's very sad. Uh-huh. That sounds great. Oh, I love Boba Fett. <laughs> oh, I was talking about Anakin. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah. So you children. you uh, have seen this this uh, creature duck around the corner. Um. I duck around the corner. Cool. Um, right around the corner. Let's, you know what? Let me roll a die for say, no, for no reason. They have a knife to your neck. Like, You're going to get why attacked. Why are you following me? Uh, what's your AC? I'll attack them. What's my AC? You're mm-hmm. getting attacked. 13. 13? Uh, you get punched in the face. Oh! Yeah! Well, uh, more like... Just back. Someone smacks you with a pillow that has a couple of rocks Aww. in it. Oh. Uh, because like Buffy in the morning, which he goes. Pap, pap, yeah, the paw is 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 pretty soft, and then there's a couple of claws that like are clearly pulled in, but they're not like not out a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so it feels like a pillow with a couple rocks in it, you know. Whoa, hey. Who are you? Why are you following me? I saw your work. My my work. Well, you could turn me in. No. I, I I I you can't it's do that to me. No, bro. 
Yes, I... this is voiced by Justin Roiland. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say. I, so. I, 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 no, I do the same thing. I do the same thing. I'm um, crazy paws. You can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy paws. Crazy paws. I'll get you with my crazy paws. You can't. You can't turn me in. I, t- I swear. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm not gonna turn you in, bro. I well, want to know. What, you, what wanna, do you want? I want to know. I want to know about this town. Well, boy, there's a lot of good marks. I mean, who who even are you? I don't know why I'm even telling you this. I'm crazy paws. I don't tell people nothing. <laughs> crazy happen. paws. What do you know about a dragon, crazy paws? Dragon. Gosh, there ain't a lot of them. Uh, I mean, none nearby anyways. You're aware that you're still quite a ways from your goal. What do you know about, what do you know about the crime here? What's cool? What's happening in this town? Crime in this town? Well, gosh, there's a tabaxi running around that's been uh, picking people's pockets, and his name is Crazy Paws, so why are you messing with me? <laughs> Crazy Paws. Um, Amazing setup. <laughs> I would like to, I would like to... I'm a um, one-man rising crime. What do you do? What are you getting on crazy pause deal for? I'm a gobble gives you. I do. Do I? Do I remember? Does Lovey remember the name of the panther? Um, I don't. So, no. Probably. Not. Oh, what you think all sentient cats know each other? Yeah, right. Oh, if they're says. in crime, maybe there's um, a bunch. Um, I, I, I can do a quick. Uh, it, it was it was it was like it was like Onyx coat the maybe wo- I wrote the his name down because I loved him so much. Um, yeah, I probably didn't write it down because I wasn't in the shop. <sighs> Burglar's boutique was the shop. I don't think I have a name written down. So if there was one canonically, I nobody remembers. Okay. Okay. Say, do you know fill in the blank? Fill in Phil? the blank. Phil. The blank? It should be Phil. Okay, Phil. it's Phil. There it is. Do you know this cat name? <laughs> Phil? Listen, buddy, I am not a cat. My name is Crazy Paws and I'm a tabaxi. Not a cat. It's there's I'm saying d- about d- this d- other d- cat. D- there's there's a difference. I was using it like the... You cool cat? Like oh. the term. Okay, we are cool cat. <laughs> uh, look, uh, Crazy Paws, I lived here my whole life. I'm, a, I'm born and bred in, uh, you know, this, this town right here. I, 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 that's where I'm from. Crazy Paws. Yeah. Do you like... Um, Boy, crap. geez, you're on the ground right there. Let me here, Let me help you up. Um, I was on the ground. Oh, cool. you, no. you, got, you got smacked. Yeah, you I'm not going to let him help me up. I would like to. I would Extends like to do his, slide, his I like to do slide of hand. I like to slide of hand. Okay. You guys like what on you your way to, to pickpocket each other. You hold hands. <laughs> yeah. Are we They're best friends? friends? <laughs> I think we're best friends. Sixteen. Um. You. So what are you trying to do? You're trying to pickpocket him. Yeah. Um. You. Uh. As your hand enters. Uh, so I, I, the way you do this is you you go up with one hand to, to right. um, get help down, and then your other hand just kind of slips into the pocket. Mm-hmm. Um, as you slip your hand into the pocket, you feel his other hand go <laughs> past yours, trying oh to get into God. your pocket. You <laughs> manage to grab something in his pocket uh, before, but you can feel like his hand is headed towards your pocket he, to also pickpocket. Does he get something from it? Uh, he hasn't yet. You can pull away. I'll so. pull away then. Uh, do we just go back to the ground? <laughs> well, this hand is the hand that's well, taking yeah, her up. Okay. I'll get up. So she can up. pull away with that hand. Um, okay, yeah, you, you, you pull away, and he's like, uh, well, geez, uh, you know, uh, what, uh, what are you doing in town here? I haven't seen you around. Crazy Paws nuts, uh, you haven't seen any, uh, people, new people in a while, you know? Nailed it. You haven't seen any new people in a while? Yeah, you know, we're, we're pretty uh, insular people here. We just, yeah, I'm not, just a, a lot of, not a lot of visitors. Can I check my pockets? Yeah. Did you take you, me? You go in your pockets? No, you, you pulled away before oh, he was gotcha. able to get in there. Um, you, in your hand, or, you know, as you mm-hmm. put your hand back in your pocket to try to feel whatever you, mm-hmm. you grabbed from him, um, it appears to be a uh, ring of keys um, with, like, two or three kind of Thick, heavy keys. That's enough for me. I enough say for you. it's been a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> um, actually, I have a question. 
Do you like ground bird? Oh my god. Is that bird from the ground or is that like a bird that's been ground up? Why is it's it so a, complicated? It's a bird from the ground. Come on, people. Well, geez, uh, crazy, crazy paws. I'll eat anything that I can get my crazy paws on, you, you know? No, but you come follow me. You come follow me. Follow you? Where are you going? I'm going to the tavern. I got a friend who has some, who has some bird. Hmm. I think... That does sound tasty, and I don't have to pay for it, yeah? No, you don't. Mm. It's in the alley. Crazy Paws will take you up on that deal. Did you watch me do, like, go in the alley? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you lead Crazy Paws. I don't want to lead. Okay. Um, I tell him, like, this still is my town, so I don't know where the tavern is. You, so yeah. You lead. Oh, sure. Well, hey, let's, uh, let's take the back way. Crazy Paws knows oh, the way. Always the back way. Um, and he leads you through alleys and up ladders and uh, across roofs. Um, you can tell he's like out of the side of his eye, just making checking on you. Um, but I, you get the vibe. He's a less accomplished sneak than you. Mm. I can uh, tell when I first stole his mm-hmm. keys. <laughs> so a few minutes From ago. the second I stole his keys, I knew Crazy Paws wasn't half the thief I am. <laughs> Lovey's internal monologue is just like a noir movie. Yeah. <laughs> he had the pause of a crazy tabaxi. I'd seen his type before. Pause. Crazy. crazy. No surprise his name was Crazy Pause. <laughs> he slid a hand inside my purse. Um, I got to his first. <laughs> Jasmine uh, walks out of the tavern and uh, into the alley where um, you're finishing up your what's left of your ground bird ground bird you're finishing it i don't know i was having guests <laughs> in, in my alley in my alley <laughs> um and says uh hey i didn't i'm i'm sorry if i made you feel bad about your ground bird i just no, you, were, you no. were pushing it pretty hard and i don't know it just i didn't want to like i don't want to draw attention to us here in the town you know, i just, totally understand it's fine i just i'm <laughs> <laughs> Ground bird bomb. What were you saying? I just I I feel nervous in new places. Yes. After um what happened at at the castle. I that just, was sketchy. Yes. We never really talked about what happened before the fight. Um. Mm, yes. Well, I saw. Yes, I saw um somebody who was very important to me who. Made me the man I am today, and... Me too. She re- Oh, yes? Interesting. Who did you see? Do I, I, yeah, did we find out what... I saw my... We never talked about it. No, we my, didn't. My parents. Uh, I thought I was in uh, their... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, <laughs> the ground bird is sitting weird. I thought that I was in their study, and that they were disappointed in me for going on adventures and for being a tiefling. Oh, but you know, it was all just an illusion. You saw that. It was tricks that the Mind Flayer was playing on us. You can't take it seriously. He was just getting in our heads. I'm sure your parents love you very much. I know. It's just, it's it's hard because those are sore spots. I, 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 f- I do feel like I let them down. I mean, they're, they're professors and, and I'm just out here killing things i don't know I... you were out here trying to save the life of a friend can many professors say that about their endeavors in academia not my parents they've never taken a sabbatical for anything <laughs> what I've... did you ivor what did you see though i saw my aunt yvonne she was telling me that uh I hadn't earned a name yet. That uh... earned earned a name. Yes. So in the clan of the bear, where I'm from, when you go out, uh, you know, you 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 try to make a name for yourself. It is just a sort of a, uh, not a coming of age, but just a um, part of finding out who you are, and part of making your mark <laughs> on the world. We we are given names by members of of our community. Unfortunately, because I'm not in my community right now, uh, I cannot be given a name. Uh, based on my deeds, so I will just have to wait until I come back from my trip. Does and your aunt have a name? Stout Hammer. Thank you. <laughs> yes, she. Uh, yes, she does. Yes, Ivan Stout Hammer, because she has a big hammer and she hits people with it. 
and it was, she was I mean, you, ha you have a big hammer, too. I do, but now I'm just sort of sword guy, you know? <laughs> because I have the talking sword. Hey, that might be something there. Ivor talking sword. Ivor, uh, well, I was going for Ivor talks to his sword, but we can workshop it. Ivor of the loud blade. Mm -hmm. maybe, right then, the, the blade is like, hey! 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 Uh, Just Ivor... warning you of an awkward situation here. <laughs> I, Ivor, Get out! Ivor yells and stabs. Ivor yells and stabs. <laughs> hey, that's pretty great, actually. Mm. I do do both of those things. Um, your, uh, your sword does start to say... Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Someone sketchy's coming. Wait. Someone sketchy's here. Lovey pulls I, I like, I look, yeah. Yeah, I look around with my hand on my sword. Behind you is Lovey. Um, oh, just, it's just Lovey. She's you know just her. climbing down from, uh, from a rooftop and next to slash in front of her slightly because she does not lead um, is a, uh, just a, just a, like. It's just Daniel Tiger. <laughs> That's what I've been envisioning as Crazy Paws. Who's, who's Daniel Tiger? Daniel Tiger from like Fred, uh, what's it? Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. One oh, of the puppets oh, on the yeah. is, is spin off show. Here, this is, I'll show you. Um, yep. Just a, just a, looks like a child that's a tiger on two Weird. legs. Um, this and, is who uh, I've been thinking of as Crazy Paws. <laughs> Yeah, imagine that guy, but he's stealing everything, and yeah. he's got, yeah. he's, got I'm crazy boss. he's got Justin Roiland voicing him. <laughs> um, and this this tiger looks up at you, gets real close, and says, "Ground bird, yeah, I'm crazy paws. I want a ground bird. You got ground bird? I heard there was a ground bird. Oh yes, I have the last of it here. And Ivor holds out like what w probably was a leg." And it's got like a bite mark in it. <laughs> Please share. I have the last of the ground bird. Oh, bone! I love marrow. Crazy boss loves marrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, takes oh, it with one man. hand and just like. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Um, I found someone who likes your food. You know what? Thank you. This warms my heart. Crazy boss, it's finally nice to meet somebody who appreciates quality produce. Uh, what him, is your don't let him get too close uh, wisdom to modifier? <laughs> plus zero okay um <laughs> passive perception of yeah passive perception can i see your sheet for a second 10 oh god I would, like to, <laughs> I would like to be really watching crazy pause uh well you just saw him pick his pocket <laughs> as he oh. took the hey everybody he took the bone psa sweet martha's cookie plus cheetos delicious Good. yeah salty sweet salty sweet um i would like Cheese to go over to crazy paws Mm -hmm. And give him a pat on the back and try to pickpocket what he just picked up. <laughs> I, I don't know what he took. Um, <laughs> okay, go ahead and give me a, a, a sleight of hand. Uh, seventeen. Um, you pull out uh, one of Ivor's pamphlets. <laughs> um, his communalist pamphlets. Because uh, Crazy Paws doesn't care what he's pickpocketing. It's just, just give it back at that just point. Take... Just be like, oh. Uh, Carl I put it back in. Carl Mortz works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I could, indeed. How did this get um, in my pocket? Steal from everybody, give to everybody. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Um, he he gnaws on the bone and says, uh, well, thanks for the bone, mister. I'm Crazy Paws and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go pick some pockets. You have a great night. Oh, redistributing the wealth. I like it. Yeah, yeah, this guy gets it. Crazy, I get it. He, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's good in Crazy Paws' book. Uh, Crazy, Crazy Paws got a book, and the book says that, uh, what's your name, guy? I am Ivor. Ivor's in Crazy Paws. Of the Loud Sword. I... Eh, it needs work. <laughs> Ivor uh, of the Loud Sword. Ivor is in Crazy Paws' book, and it's under the, the list that says he's a good guy. He's, he gets in, and he understands pickpocketing. Uh, I'm going to go goodbye. Crazy hey, Paws. Crazy Paws, you know, I like you, and I punch him on the shoulder. <laughs> Crazy Paws. But it's, like, down. Listen. Um... You should read that. You should read what's in your pocket. Uh, the keys uh, that I stole from that guy, I am not... There's nothing to read on those keys, my friend. Anyways, gotta go. Blah, goodbye. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and Crazy Paws... I, I like Crazy Paws. Crazy Paws like, does, does like a, a neat little flip and, and just 
just kind of a weird little gymnastics thing and then runs around the corner. <laughs> like Buffy when she's trying to get her tail. It and sounds then like she... a caricature of Lovey. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> yeah, does. Exactly. If Lovey was a cat, it's just this. <laughs> I'm crazy. I can't wait to see Crazy Paws in the final episode of Beast of the Stone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, Crazy Paws and He's the... Good. Malfestus. No, not Malfestus. <laughs> crazy Paws and the other... Ty- the, the, the cat from before are going to show up like the fucking White Lotus. Yeah, we're going to be like, like the game. yes, we're the cats. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched this whole thing. We've been here the whole time. <laughs> the fate of our world is in our head. <laughs> And oh, it's back in round. See, I got my crazy paws one and two. My fist is like, what the fuck's going on? Who are these? I'm allergic to cats. Surprise! We're going to take you down. Meow. All my infinite power, and I've been taken down by two crazy paws. And a. And the other one. Weird, sexy cat thing. Weird, sexy cat. By the way, those keys he was talking about. Oh, you redistributed some wealth. Yeah, eh? I don't know where they go though. Let's start trying doors. <laughs> Every door. Um, Wait, so it's just me and Imner eating food? Yeah, and you, he, you have been. Um, you know how we do pizza reviews? Yeah. You guys have been doing a ranch review. Oh, amazing! And <laughs> it's. I feel like we would do this honestly before. Better than Imner's. Ooh. Imner. But he's okay with that. He's like, well, look, now I know where to steal it from now. I was going to say, are you going to start taking this ranch instead? I, I might. I'm I looking mean, forward it's, to it. The, the texture is sublime. Yeah. The flavors are, I mean, it's, it's just ranch through and through. It really, really and is. And I got to say, their pairings of vegetables, like I wouldn't personally, not a big cherry tomato guy, mm. but today with this ranch... Maybe I am. Ooh. I think you are. This is a big day. This is a big day. I've had a great day. time. Big cherry tomato day. Um, Where is our friends, by the way? Uh, you look out the window, and there's um, Just the three bear. of them standing around a trash fire. Um, should should we pay and, and go? And yes, I suppose done? we do have a dragon to get to. Yeah. Well, goodbye, ranch. I'll miss you. Goodbye, ranch. Until I steal some with magic. Later. Um, yes, remember this place. Let's log it in our mind. His eyes roll back, and he does the, the hard drive thing. I can't do that, so I just, like, roll my eyes. <laughs> roll your eyes in your head. Yeah, pat down the shoulder. Very good. His folder. It's right, yeah. right there. It's for thousands ranch. of years TXT. of ranches. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I would have found the best ranch in my thousands of years of trying, but by now... But it's I, a never ending search. Happening, yeah, ranches. they just keep on making new good ranches. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, okay. So, uh, as you um, exit the uh, tavern and as you three um, have started trying doors in this alley <laughs> with the keys. Jasmine is like, there has to be a better way to categorize this. And she takes out a little journal and starts like drawing a little map of the, the alley and, and crossing off doors that don't work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys are just running between doors, like trying every single one of them. And neither of you recalls the time that Lovey stuck a random key in a random hole and it oh didn't work oh, oh, yeah. out for people. The very first episode. Um, <laughs> as as yeah. Ivor leans in to do the first one, he just goes, wait. Wait. <laughs> Lovey, no. <laughs> just spiders. Just... Yeah. <laughs> um, as as you two walk out into the uh, the alley to meet this nonsense with keys and <laughs> Jasmine, who is still who's still going along with it, but just writing it down, just in a more uh, sensical way. Yes, the that's sensical. very Hermione. Uh, middle sensical, not nonsensical. Yeah. Just just middle. Medium sensical. Um, you start hearing. Screams. Oh my goodness. Screams from the edge of town, the the direction that you would go if you were continuing out of town, not the way you came, the other side. Um, you start hearing screams, um, and you see past the alley people start uh, just sort of running everywhere. There's not. Uh-huh. It doesn't seem like anyone's really sure where things are coming from or what's going on. Can um, I make a like a hearing check to see if I can pin like? If if there's been like a kind of a game of telephone of like, oh my gosh, somebody has a 
whatever. Oh my yeah, gosh, go they're and, using go a thing, like and then a, it's kind of made its way over here. Um, well, maybe an insight check or investigation mm. to sort of investigate. What Is my saying. sword doing saying anything? Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's like. Oh boy, I guess that tabaxi's gone. Oh, you have to. Scott, you're, you're okay. We're getting. We're getting Crazy pause. Is that you? A little calmer. <laughs> we're good. Oh shit! There's something coming. <laughs> yeah, um, I only got an eight. Your sword just starts yelling. Uh, <laughs> there's what, something coming. Do your sword can't much. identify what it is. It's just warning, right? Yeah, like it's, it's it's fucking almost useless. Um, Isn't that it, just? It just, like says, it just says sword. it warns you of danger. Yeah. So in the din of all the other screams, your hey. sword's like. The danger! Hey! Cut, it's, it's some bad. Watch out! Um, I only got an eight, so I, I'm helpless. It's just sort of because it doesn't seem like they really know what yeah, they're running they're from either. Yeah, they're just screaming because other people are screaming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They know that there's stuff to run from. Yeah. But well, not should sure we what. go that way, guys? <sighs> What's bad for this town probably does not bode well for us. So yes, we should. Uh, try to stop whatever's happening. Let's go! It would seem from our brief time here that we are probably the most equipped adventurers in the place. Let's so. be heroes! Yes, Ivor, I agree. I draw my scaredy cat sword. Ninja! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is the sword scared? I would like, like to characterize no, no. He's like, like as I'm running towards Andrew he's like you're going the wrong way <laughs> buddy why am I telling you this if you're just gonna run into it <laughs> I'm gonna stop telling you <laughs> stop ignoring me <laughs> um, yeah so you uh, you run out back into that main uh, road where the market was and things are a lot of things are on fire towards the edge of town oh. um, uh oh you see that the the crowd is just sort of running everywhere, and uh, past that there is, um, it looks like a lot of gray humanoids, gray green kind of humanoids. Whoa! Mm. Um, that are just cutting down villagers. Oh my god! Um, left and right with. Even with, do you know what those are? Uh, they would appear to be orcs. Oh <gasps> shit! How tall um, are they? Just cutting. They're they're a bit taller than than humans. It's usually it's like, it's like seven. It's like seven yeah. feet. Yeah. Um, and they're just cutting them down with these really rough hewn blades. Um, very chipped and and damaged. Uh, not a lot of. I mean, past craftsmanship, but now they're just like How hacked all the bit. How no many yeah. orcs like can I, can we see? Um, a, a lot. Like we're talking dozens like, do or we need to split? Uh, more. Ooh. It seems like there's a whole big tribe coming it's coming downtown, um, and they are just indiscriminately hacking up. Crazy the... pause! I call for your help. Yeah. Now. Um, <laughs> Crazy pause! Come. <laughs> also, uh, did you do anything with those flowers? Um, my arms are definitely itchy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, I'm just like, oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Why are these people getting killed? Jesus. <laughs> well, I, I, I suppose let's go be heroes. Um, Wait, yes. before we be heroes, do you poison ivy? I don't know what you're talking about. Should I think maybe... I have something for you. And I pull out a little a little um, mystery bag. I pull out my mystery bag of plants. Okay. And, and I ground some up. Okay. Right now? And then I put it on. I, Imner's like, just kind of starting to edge towards the. <laughs> okay, just and a second. Can we do this on the move? I'm marinating. Uh, we do it on the move. And I we're like up, running, shuffling. <laughs> Ivor says for Frodo, and he just <laughs> sprints at the orcs. Um. All right, yeah. So you you uh, draw your weapons and you you head up upon um, what seems to be the head of this this encroaching orc. Uh, Brigade troop. Um, this is the B. Why is there an orc horn right now? Yeah. Maybe they are just. Maybe it's just like a parade. Maybe um, we should just let them have. They're their. killing people. Out of out of the <laughs> the smoke and the the craziness, two figures kind of step forward as seemingly the leaders, kind of leading the charge. Um, there's a larger figure which you notice has actually two heads, and is mm. pretty massive. Um, and as you approach, you see you. Uh, with your with your weapons drawn, you, the left head says, "Finally, someone's willing to put up a fight." 
And the right head responds, it is not all about fighting. <laughs> oh! Sometimes I don't mind when they just let us kill them. Um, it really is like Dragonland now. <laughs> yeah. The brother and sister. Um, it's Zack and Wheezy? Yeah, it's Jack and Shit. Wheezy. Shit! And uh, then <laughs> the second figure, the, the slightly smaller um, orc, uh, smaller than the two-headed one, but mm -hmm. still, you know, a big among big orcs, boy. Um says it don't matter whether they want to fight or not. Oh, eventually fall to gore blood the eviscerator. Ooh, there he is. It is their fate. Uh -huh. No, you just took it from... From what? <laughs> oh, I know who this is. <laughs> from oh, eventually fall to battle. To oh. <laughs> I'm having PTSD, uh, dog. I know. No. And my grapple shot. Let's finish him quickly. I'm hungry, and the meat won't fillet itself. Are you trying to do there, Frish? Uh, no, it's, e it's, frish. Distinct. it's legally distinct. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, okay. let's all roll initiative. What the heck? What are we gonna do? Hey, I just have a question. Do you guys have menus? Is that the thing? Or... <laughs> yeah, one question before we fight. Do How orcs? do you... We don't personally have menus, but we know what they are, so... Crazy. You know, it's, not, it's in our lexicon. Eight, uh, can um, I f light my lamp? Your your lamp? My lamp. Um, I didn't realize you had one. I have a lamp. Okay. Um, I strike a tinder twig and light my lamp. Okay. So now I'm holding a sword and my lamp. Okay. Um, let's roll initiative and then we'll take a break. Yes. I, I got eleven. Eleven. Nineteen. Who's keeping track? I am. Nice. Hey. You know that thing about Ivor rolling good in combat and everything else he does is bad? Yeah. That's a one for oh an issue, so. <laughs> okay. Um, bad guy's got a uh, 10. What? It's a one stop now. That's yeah, true. Yeah, good point. Yep. Roll them out. What about Jasmine? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jasmine and Imner got 16. Both? Yeah, just easier. Jasmine first and then Imner? Sure. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else. Unless Crazy Paws comes back. Unless Crazy Paws comes back. Well, that's funny. I was trying to take off my headphones and I was taking off my glasses instead. Mm -hmm. Crazy Paws. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know. You can't even afford a lock. So exit. Stage left. Ah, oh, freedom at last. It calls for a majestic lion roar of joy. Cheer even. Growl. <laughs> my roar hinges are a little rusty. But my appetite is still sharp. And... <laughs> What are you what are you looking for? It's called her? Yeah, this is like a new Powerpuff Girls. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's the cat. But her is originally, this is what, oh god, this is what her looks like. Oh, wow. I love it. Wow, that's a, it was very that's a pretty gay character. So gay. It's pretty fun, actually. I love her. I want original her. Let's see if we can hear. Hey, what's your idea of following me so quickly? A candle.
do me a favor? Yes. Use your inspiration point this this uh, this fight. I don't have one. You haven't used your last one, have you? I don't. I think I did. Yeah. Are you gonna give me another one? I would like to. We guys gotta use them. I I could have swore I used my inspiration last game. Last game. Maybe I did. I don't know. I, I just gave myself one. We don't have to worry about it. I guess I have one. Why? I just want us to get in the habit of using them more because like, I, the way that they're intended is not to be hoarded. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I mean, but we're just we we're all bad at using them. Actually, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't, because right. you'll you'll use it less time. You know, the the way to get the most is to use them. I quickly. think I think I got the impression, based off of what I had to do to get one mm -hmm. the first time, like when I I had to cry to get my to get inspiration, inspiration point. I was point like, yeah, well, this is probably important. And I never used it. Yeah, right. Um, but I don't think about I think, it enough. I think we as players need to use them more, and then DMs are able to be more liberal with them. Right. You guys yeah. Don't already have them. I just think it's like it's sort of an out of sight, out of mind sort of thing for me. Yeah. Like I don't even think about it, but I should because it's a it's a great mechanic and it's a great um it's a great vehicle to you know induce more yeah. realistic moments as players. What did I get my inspiration for, anyway? Um, well, I think I gave you one at the beginning for just... Just cause? Just everyone should oh. have one, and then... Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I'd love to give Molly ones for climbing up stuff. Yeah, for sure, but she still has one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think just keep on reminding us to use them, and we will. That's the problem, is I forget, too. Mm-hmm. I want to have a home where I can make like a D and D cave, like one room dedicated to. Yeah, that would be good. D and D. Have you ever watched Wizards with Guns? I don't know if I have.
Bless you. It's called Wizards with Guns. I don't know who the main guy is. Yeah, he's he. All of his stuff is funny. How are you supposed to write? Oh, sorry, I just kicked your laptop. How are you supposed to write on these cards? Yeah, how indeed? I don't know. I've never the used pen, them. Pen like doesn't even. Oh, it's like glossy. Yeah, it's glossy. So how am I supposed to? Because if it's a dry erase, a maybe? marker, it would just rub off, would it not? That's dumb. <gasps> Does it give you space to write? 
Yeah, like there's some empty ones for you to do your own thing. But like the pen doesn't even work. Feature. Do you need to draw anything? I do. Okay. We shall move some stuff. Have you heard anything about tomorrow with work? Okay. I feel bad, but I just want. I have a long weekend where I can I'm not good at saying no. You know? You should just do it, Shay. No. You just do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Follow your dream. It's very, very vague advice, but I, I enjoy it. <laughs> Follow your dream. <laughs> just be yourself. <laughs> yeah, just be yourself. Just do your thing. Okay. Can I? Came out of this valley here. Ooh, mini time. You. Where are the minis? They're in a plastic baggie that you made me put them in the plastic baggie. Plastic You're in the plastic baggie. baggie you made me put them in. But the baggie. background of your video. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's Harry Potter, right? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, that's more like... That's yeah. The Chamber of Secrets theme. Yeah, I think it was that oh, was in it? the background of your video. Oh. I didn't even notice. Oh, Jesus. Oh, actually, no, that's in... Is it a motif? It's like a mysterious, it's like a kind of a mysterious theme. Yeah. Like it's also from um, the first one. It plays in Green Gods. Interesting. Find yourself on the planet of Exegol. <laughs> Shit. Yay! Blue wizard. Bluezard. Bluezard. Oh, I wrapped them in a little Jimmy John yeah. napkin. That's cute. A little Jimmy John skin. Jimmy <laughs> John skin? That sounds icky. That does sound icky. <laughs> Alright. No! Oh. Big guy. That's the two headed one. I don't think so. I don't think there's two heads on that man's shoulders. I don't think so. Um, oh, we'll use this Wookiee as Goreblood the Eviscerator. Goreblood the Eviscerator. Which I use for the Eviscerator. Which I use 
Where is he over here? Um, Wanna come in this fight? Oh, I'll put him out of the fight. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, he's got a Wookiee. Don't eat it, Rosie. Oh, there it is. Come here. Come here. Got it. Oh man, we've got a menagerie of bad boys. What is happening? There's a fucking B2 battle droid and everything. I don't think we're tough enough. For a B2 baby? For any of these boys. We need some help. Oh, I'm ready for all this. Where's my Where's my guardian angel, Devos? Devi baby. Devi baby. Devi baby, help, help please. Me. Help please. Help me please. Got a tiny ass head for this big guy. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Well, I like to think of like a slow like boom up. His body, and we're like, oh shit. Oh shit, this and is a big boy. And then it's just boy. like, nah. <laughs> 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 like, just shoot his head. Like, oh, okay, we're Goofy fine. Goofy skeleton. <laughs> 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 just That'll a do guy. for now. Yes. That'll, That'll do. do. That'll do, pig. Can I get a pencil, please? Papers, please. Thank you. I feel like now's a good time for one of them big area effects things. Mm, yeah, right. They're all so big. I know, I'm so big. scared. Okay. Squeak, squeak. I want a mage hand and just like bitch slap one. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Five pounds of force, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him in the right spot with that five pounds of force. It could do you know, a lot of damage. You could, could, Behind you the hurt. knee. Oh. Then they could like the, fall. In the, up the fundament. See, now you're thinking. Five pounds up the fundament. Five pounds up the fundament. Five pounds up the fundament. <laughs> that sounds great. That's gross. <laughs> I regret everything. Okay. I don't. Um, yep, we're back. Yay. Hi. Uh, who's first? That uh, would be Lovey. Yeah, Lovey. Lovey is... First, um, so what is around us? Yeah, what uh, are these? they're like uh, upturned carts as cabbage have. carts. Uh, Marka, Marka. Some, some are. Uh, these are buildings. Yes. I'd love to go hop on a building. Okay. This strategy has served her well in the past. I love the Those are cabbages. Cabbage. Mark Uh yeah, what's your movement speed? Uh it is twenty-five. Uh you can make it to the top if you're already standing next to it. Nice. I'll go up to the top, yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, you can put yourself on top of that building. Um so Lovey is on top of the building. Uh, are these alleyways yes. and these are buildings? Correct. Can I do like little like whoop 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 so I know that these are not Yes. Okay. So Just for me. That those are not what? Those are not like walkable areas oh, for yeah. most people. Right. Because this is buildings. So when you're in here, that's you on the building. Yeah. That guy is... was in the alley. Oh, he was in the alley. Okay. Skeletor. Okay. All right. Uh, Lovey, do you do anything while you're up there? Yeah, I would love to. Give me one second. She 
she conjures one second. I can't. I'd love to. Can you hear whistle? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'd like to run like a little over here and then just like dump out my bag of a thousand ball bearings. Oh my <laughs> god! Awesome. That's amazing. On, just on top of that guy? Onto the, no, oh. onto the street. Hopefully, like, throw To make it here. difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. If you did dump it on top of him, you would still maybe get, you would still get the benefit of what you want to do, which is difficult terrain, That's but true. you might also get the added benefit of maybe injuring him. If you, like, drop it on him, then... A bunch of ball bearings? I don't think that's going to do anything. It'll, it'll just... It'll just be like... Ow, 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 ow. Ow. But yeah, anyways, okay. I'll just... I'll make sure they're in the middle. Okay. And then I guess I can finally cross off my... Home What's the back. area Unless of... Unless you go pick them all up again you after this. You should at the end. What's the area of... Uh, of like, how many... If it's a thousand ball bearings, how many square feet do you think that should be? Um, it should say in the description of ball bearings. www.ballbearings.com Yeah, sounds nice. It's nice. It will cover a square area that's 10 feet on each side, but it doesn't say if that's a thousand of them. Wait, the, it's, that's just what the item it is, right? It's a thousand. Ball bearings will cover. Yeah, so you, you pour them out, and that's how okay, far they cover. Perfect. So, so, what is it, 10 this, foot square? Did you, where did you put them? Like here? Am, if, am I able to like, try to land it in the middle? Here. So then 10 feet around. That would be five, ten. I, think I don't know. Tossing a bag maybe, and trying to make them land. Like I think, I think I some of them are going to fall straight cool. down. So yeah. So at least ten foot square, that, right? Like here. And then I guess some are under that upturned cart. And then, so wait, five, ten. It would go all the way out here too, right? Yeah. Like that. Lovely. And then five ten. Is it a ten foot square or ten feet originating from the square? Ten. We could just do this and say that's that's that. Uh, it's Billy's tiny metal balls from the, their pouch to cover a level square area that is ten feet on a side. So it's it's two by two. So, two by two. Yep. Can I? Yeah. Want it on the other side? Yes. Nice. Um, do you okay. say anything to your comrades, or do you just hope that they um, notice? I hope they notice that it's <laughs> raining. <laughs> ball bearings yeah you hope we would but and then if not we'll find out when we get up there <laughs> and then i would like to uh shoot my short bow okay um do you have two actions uh Oh or is, is the, was the ball bearings a uh, bonus action? Ooh, as an action. I guess that was my action. I guess that was your action. That's okay. She... I think that's decent. It was a prep. Yeah, it was I good. think that's going to come in handy. You hope so. You would hope I so. Do. Um, all right. Uh, who is next? Uh, the Jasmine. Next move is to spill the cabbages. Yeah, yeah so then right. we have a whole bunch of difficult terrain. 
Jasmine is next. Uh, Jasmine is next. Okay. Um, she is all the way in the back, it looks like. Yeah, this looks like um, Go ahead and move her to where she has a line of sight. Um, On who? Just not so she's facing through you. Um, so you can move her in front of you or off to the off that. to the side. Yeah, that works. Um, and she is um, going to... Uh, just start out with magic missile. Classic. Um, right on. Let's see. Yeah, so that'll. Uh, that's in range. Um, she's gonna go right for Gorblood the Eviscerator. Nice. Gorblood's the big boy, right? Or is he the small? This guy? one's He's Gorb the small. Oh, one. that's Gorblood. Okay. The other one is two-headed and is not like. He doesn't look exactly like an orc. Mm -hmm. Um, he looks a little, little different. Wait, Gorblood is bigger here, with the two heads. This is Gorblood the Gorblood, Eviscerator. Gorblood's this orc here. Okay. Um, the dragon you guys are gonna go see is Toral Yarg. Um, Yarg. Yeah. The the does anyone want to make a check on the two headed creature to see if they know um, what it is? Can I also? Yeah. Yeah, make I'll just best. make one with intelligence, and uh, yeah, that's that's three. So you know. I got more than three, but not too much better. Hold on. Uh, history invest. What do you want? Um, knowledge and intelligence. Nature, I don't know. I only got twelve. Um, yeah, it's it's not an orc. You're not sure what it actually is. Uh, gore blood. Gore blood is an orc. The other one. Oh, the two headed one. The two headed one. You're not entirely sure. Okay. Um, but it is not an orc. It looks like, uh, maybe some sort of cousin of an orc. I guess I'll tell. I mean, Imner probably knows, but I'll shout to the group like. Uh, guys, the, the one with two heads, it's, it isn't, I don't think that's like an orc orc. I think it might be like an orc slash something else. Just letting you know. Imner probably knows. Oh, uh, we'll see what Imner knows on his turn. Okay. Um, so Jasmine um, fires off magic missile at, what's his face, which is... Um, okay. Does... I may have a tough time with math. I haven't done math in a long time. Um, does, she does 11 damage. To nice. Core blood. Uh, Core blood. How many points do you guys have now? 49. I have 41. I have 31. Jasmine only has 34. Which is more than you, I guess. Yeah, it's more. Hmm. You sure you didn't miss a, a level? Well, you have you're smaller, right? What's your what's your hit dice? Uh, your of D eight. D eight. Well, the, the hit dice is. Seems like yeah, with a D eight you would have. Why don't you do? Uh, Jasmine only has a D six. Can she Let do me, one more? I'll, I'll find out what it should be. What's your constitution bonus, Molly? Uh. One. Plus okay. One. Um. All right. So that will be, uh, and then Jasmine will just take one step back into the alley to kind of get out of Willow's way um, and uh, get some cover. Um, okay, after Jasmine What's is... Imner? Imner, okay. The average of her health should be 33. Okay, so not... So, yeah, yeah, not far off. Okay. Um, all right, so Imner is going to... Uh, he's going to... Um, you feel something, Ivor, in your body that feels familiar. Mm -hmm. um, if you have kind of a weird, uh, you know, like when you taste something or smell something and it like transports you back for Sounds a second. Memory, yeah. Um, it it's like the feeling in your blood in your body that you had when you met Coral Marts when you mm -hmm. died. Um, and you, Willow, and Lovey and Jasmine, um, feel something. You feel like, you know how when. What is what's when, the inciting incident here? What's happening that uh, we feel this way? Imner appears to be doing magic. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Willow, you you know how the feeling you feel when, um, like when you first uh, woke up, um, or like when Malfestus kind of appeared to draw life from you. Yeah, that's pretty it's shitty. That kind of like emptying of feeling. Is he taking energy from no, us? No, you feel. Like a filling feeling, oh. um, 
as Imner appears to transfer extra life to each of you. Ooh. Um, so he gives each of you uh, three temporary hit points. All right, nice. Imner. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, Everybody. everyone. Everyone wow. in the group. So I'm actually at 44. Thank you, Imner. Thank you, Daddy Imner. Um, and that's a that's a big powerful spell uh, for him to do that um, yeah. to all of you at the same time. Um, so that's gonna be uh, he's gonna he's gonna move like to this way. Um, if someone could move him, uh, you can like move him in front of the cart. Yeah, and just so we can have a better view of of who he's gonna be okay. attacking, and that would be his turn. Um, who's next? I am. I'm trying to find some more d6s. I only need, I think, two more. Um, there's one. Do you have an extra one? Probably. Oh, there you go. Just kidding. Thank you. Okay. Um, I am going to... Three, three, four. Okay. The range is 150. I would like to... It doesn't matter where. What I'm going to do is um, fireball, because I just got it and I'm excited. Nice. And it's a big area of effect. So I'm going to... Radius within 20 feet. So that would be... Okay. The radius... A 20-foot radius. So is that... How many squares is that? One, two, three... That'd be four. Only four squares? Every square is five foot. So... Okay. Well, 20-foot radius. Radius is the point from the... the diameter. Yes, so it would be 40 feet. 40, yeah, okay. Yeah, in diameter. So... Four squares? Eight squares. Eight squares total across okay i just want i think i can if it's eight squares across i can probably hit one two three what's the spell you're using i'm using fireball oh and fuck it's yeah 20 foot radius so i can get this 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 can i get these two or pick a spot and then count 20 from that spot so if i do this like five ten like then in. either way. Yeah. Yeah. In all directions. So then I'm getting and then these five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I get up to this guy here. Damn. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, up to that guy. Wow. So this whole group here. That's, that is, that's excellent. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So and I'm roll a lot of D sixes. Yeah. Yeah, you need line of sight on it because a bead like shoots out of your finger. Yeah. It's like a projectile. Can I see? Yeah. The cart's not like obscuring your view. It's oh. it's lower. It's like it's just a, just that yeah. cover. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then, I'm a little scared of this spell. Willow is because I'm realizing that I've not used it before, and I can feel there's a lot of power. So I am going to use the incantation, and I'm going to read it. So it's going to come out exactly as it should. Um, But yeah, I'm going to summon what I have inside me, and I'm going to kind of like maybe look at Imner real quick and kind of like look ashamed before I say out the... Fireball. (laughs) No, I don't like do it like that. I just... I mustard, and I look at him, and I'm like... "Mm." And like, no, mustard. I'm not gonna yummy yeah, mustard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freestyle it like he wants me to. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the incantation. Um yeah, so I point my finger, um, and it blossoms with a low roar into an explosion of flame. Um each creature within the twenty foot radius uh centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um and then if they succeed, they get 8d6. If they fail, they get half of that. So dexterity save against... Jesus Ooh, Christ. cool. A little, little avatar. A little fire. air. What is the DC? 
Well, that's what I'm saying. What is it again? Against my Eight spell? Eight plus, yeah, whatever your spell save my DC. My spell DC is 16. Okay. Damn. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Damn. Are you going to do them all for everybody? or Peanut individual? butter and jam. Um, I'm just going to do one for each type. Okay. Eh, okay, that's not very fair to you. No, it's not. Uh, where does the line go up to? It's this. Okay, one well, I think I need to start like carrying like an anvil on me. So <laughs> that would be like, great. So you can just Looney Tunes like, drop. I yeah. Drop, I can drop something. You're totally right. right. You should. It'd be very common. Yeah, we need to start. We need to start basing your equipment around this strategy of getting up high. Oh. You know, we need you to what get yeah. like DC one more time. More drop 16. weapons. Okay. Yeah, I'm running out. I'm running out of like stuff for. Oil, you might you might just stuff. drop an arrow on somebody, you know? That might kill him. Okay. I have or now determined who succeeds and fails. Um, what is the damage? A penny. a penny. Right. Have you ever heard that thing if you Can drop you if you drop like a penny from the top of the Empire State Building? How many? It'll like what about gain enough velocity to like go through somebody? Um That's terrifying. Yeah, it's really scary. It's almost like as scary a bullet. As, like a bullet, what exactly. About, um, only only two succeeded. Oh hell yeah. Oh, okay. So what about um the two big boys in front. They failed. You. Yeah. You. Okay. That's a lot of dice. Oh, that must be so satisfying. It is, but I feel like they're going to be a lot of twos. Well, we'll see. I can help you count. Did Fletcher get okay. another, Here, you, like, you just say the numbers yeah. and I'll count them. Six. No. Plus five. Plus five. Mm. Plus two. Mm. Plus three. Mm. Plus one. Nah. Plus six. Mm. Plus one. Mm. Twenty nine damage. Twenty nine damage total for if they failed, mm -hmm. and then half a twenty nine if they succeeded. Rounded up fifteen. So fifteen. So twenty nine each for the ones who failed, and fifteen for the ones that succeeded. Um, so all the guys in the back that you attacked, mm -hmm. are, they go down. Woo! All you guys yeah. in the back, like these guys? Like yes, just... Everyone except the two that you targeted. No way. Yeah, no. yeah they dead. Um, you can see behind them, though, that there are more in the ranks. Oh, wow, wow. You... That was fun, though. Can you do that again? I don't know if I have it in me, but I can try. I would also like to back up now that I... Um, and then also as a bonus action, I am going to, um, use one of my sorcery points. Actually, I think it's two sorcery points for one spell slot, which makes me even again. Okay. So I don't have to take off that spell slot that I just used because I just bought one with my spell slots. So, or sorcery points. So now I'm back to square one. Nice. It's like I didn't do anything and I killed one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five people. <laughs> Um, all bad. right, who's next? Um, bad guys. Bad guys. Okay. Uh, Corblood is not happy about that. Um, he is going to charge forward. Oh, um, six squares, please. Corblood? Yes. War, war, war. One, two, three. Um, he's going to go to the right. If he just goes diagonal, uh -oh, he would only four. use one. Four, five, six. Nice. Um, oh, he's so close. He is. Not, let's see. Come on, Corblood. Fall into our little trap. Fall into the trap, Corblood. Like a Looney Tune. Do it, Bloop, you boop, coward. Boop, 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 boop. Um, boodly, boodly, boodly. He, he still wouldn't be able to hit Ivor even with reach, would he? Nah, no, ten that's feet. Way. Yeah, I don't that's think quite do five, it. ten, fifteen. Uh, well... Yeah, no. 5, 10, no. 15. Um, okay. Uh, these orcs back here, um, yeah, these, these three in the very back that are still alive, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to 
uh, dash in, try to get as close to our folk as possible. They're going to run 12 squares, please, um, as best they can. Um, How many feet? 12 squares. I know, but I'm counting. 16. Okay. 60? Yeah. Okay, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 60. Because I was going some diagonal, so I wanted to, I had to double it or whatever. Um, and with the ball bearings, uh, what is it that they have to do, Mo? I think like a constitution check, or no, a dexterity uh, check. Yeah, probably a dexterity saving throw, or be knocked prone. Yeah. DC 10 dexterity saving throw, or fall prone. Okay. Uh, that one that ran into it is going to fall prone. Yeah! Um, nice. The minotaur down the alley um, is going to uh, run also towards towards the group. Um and we'll try to go the same way through the ball bearings. Minotaur. And we'll succeed so they can go to the next one. Every square. Yeah. Damn. Um, and what was the DC? 10. Uh, we'll succeed on the second square as well. So they can... Shit. Does that count as difficult terrain? This one took ballet. I don't think so. Okay. And he's not dashing. He's just moving? He's just moving. So how many moves? Six. 30 feet. And then this guy? Uh, yep, that one will also run towards Imner. Is this a guy on our side or? No. Okay. Six? Yeah. Nice, finally someone can attack. Yay! Uh, this orc is going to... really overpowered. Uh oh. Well, don't do it. Um, is okay. that, is that something that an orc gets? Use their, their great axe against Imner and will just oh. terribly fail. Imner just kind of like moves out of the way um, of the great Oof. axe. Um, apparently they have something that allows them to move more. Huh. Wait, um, really? Yeah. They have as a bonus action, the orc can move up to its speed towards a hostile creature Did that it can see. Maybe... Oh my god! Just that's like a free dash. That's strong, yeah. Um, so they're all just gonna move an extra six, except for the one that's sprinted. Right. Um, Wait, but a few of them already dashed, so that's their action and their movement. That is their action. Now they're gonna use their bonus action to move an additional six squares. Jesus. What about the prone one? Um, will... Well... Also, since they don't have a movement in action to get up, I'm just going to leave them. A lot of them are going, in fact, all of them are going to get to us before six. So where would you like them to land? Right up next to you. Oof. But who? Put gore blood up on top of that cart. Right here? Yeah. Does he succeed in cool. jumping up on it? He's got six moves. And yes, he got a nat 20. So he's okay. fine. Damn, gore blood. You go right up there. He doesn't skip leg day. Two, two three, four. Um, and then our two-headed friend in the back is going to um, go ahead and uh, move. You know what? Just move him over one dead center of the dead center of the lane. Um, he's just going to hang out and, and wait for his turn. Makes sense. Um, okay, so everyone, um, nobody gets to use their their attack. Um, I don't think. Actually, you know what? Gorblood does because. Uh, he hasn't dashed. He's the only one that hasn't dashed. So, Gorblood is Can going to... Reach? Does he have 10 feet of reach? Uh, is Joseph not there? No, he's he's 10 feet away from Joseph. Can you put him on the part of the cart that is near Joseph? Okay, uh -oh. yeah. You just told me to have him jump up on the cart. Um, okay. Sorry about the confusion. I can't quite see. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to attack uh, Mr. Joseph Ivor. Mm-hmm. Um, Ever of the yelling sword. Um, with Let's hope that doesn't stick. Great axe. Um, <laughs> just in your face, you're just like, what is it, man? Ten to hit. Nope. Okay. You. Oh my God. Um, and he gets a second attack, and 
21 to hit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that one hits. Unfortunately. Um, okay, so we have... Time for some damage! Oh, uh, on your own? I don't know, but if you're but his reach is safe up here. but his reach is really far. It's always true that groups with the most attacks win or do better. So I'd say thin their ranks is probably yeah. a better policy. Okay, but um, okay, it's going to be fourteen damage. Yikes! Um, Big yikes! He's not messing around. No, he ain't. Um, you told me to kill you. I guess today's gonna be the day. Um, I'm down to 38. Okay, uh, I believe that's it for the bad boys. Bad boys. Bad um, boys. Bad boys. So who's next? Going to do. Next is Lovey. All right, Lovey. Give him what for? Give him the what for? It's Lovey again. What do you mean, Lovey again? Did you go? No. She's... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Ivor just went. Nope. Okay, Ivor. Since he was being attacked, I thought uh, I, that my brain was hey, like... Hey, just because I'm a big brutish guy doesn't mean... <laughs> well, Ivor... Ivor takes a five-foot step, and um, he looks up at Goreblood, the Eviscerator, and... Cool name, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of a quip. <laughs> um, he was going to do something cool with his lantern, but... Uh, Willow's fireball just totally showed him up, so he was, he's kind of like, he blows it out, like, puts it back <laughs> on his belt, mind. he's like, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> and then he, as he's putting his thing back in his belt, he reaches into his pocket, grabs his handful of mushrooms and goes, Oh boy. And <laughs> like the cookie monster. <laughs> exactly, yeah, and like bits of them <laughs> fly <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> and he, he furrows his brow and goes into his rage, raises his great sword over his shoulder like a baseball bat and brings it around in a huge scything sweep to try to eviscerate Goreblood and that is a 20 uh, f- 23 you to hit. Um, yes, that yes. is excellent and it's going up uh, and he's going to uh, bestow a smite a divine smite on that noise so that is going to be 14 okay. plus this is the smite uh 18 damage total including yeah. the smite all right one moment. you said 18 yes yes 18 damage on core blood, the poop and hater. Poop and hater. He would not be very happy if he said that. <laughs> M- blood, the eviscerator. Do? More like gore blood, the poop and hater. Oh! Um, yeah, that was a mighty smack. Mighty smack on, uh, on gore blood, the poop and Because I'm like <laughs> slashing up at him, I like like rip a gash up his leg. I would yeah, assume. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, uh, you you certainly Ouchie. S- there, there's a, a gash up that that inner thigh, and I Oof. stand my ground. I'm just staring him down. As you say, poopinator. Poopinator. I'm just like, <laughs> Direct eye contact. Growling like foaming at the mouth a little bit. <laughs> um, all right, is so that it for Ivor? Yeah, that's Ivor. I now think we're back around to Lovey. It's Lovey. Lovey, it's you again. Lovey. Drops drop more stuff on people. Where's your anvil when you need it? Thank you for cookies. Thank you for cookies. Thank you for cookies. They were so good. Bye. Bye. Bye, Shannon. Oh, Love you. Well. Mom, I'm going to grab that bag out of my car for you. Okay. Unless you don't want it. Oh, that's a okay. good point. All right, I'll leave it. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I think I'll, our, all those calendars are still in there. For Brenda? Yeah. No. Didn't she have some? Oh, I thought she... She has hers. I took ones for us. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you sometime and give you calendars. Bye. All right. Bye, Shannon. Love you. Tomorrow? What? Do you work tomorrow? Uh, I do. So far. 
Um, I was trying to get it off to go to a function with Shay, but I think I'll probably still have to work, so it's like right. 11 to uh, 7.30. Well, this week, let's try to get together. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. All right. Ooh, lovey. What are you doing? Lovey. Is there anything on this roof? Um. Like rocks. There, there's like a a chair up there, and yeah, there's like a box that has like maybe a chest set on it. Like someone was hanging out up here and with their friend and. Okay, um, well, I'd like to push it off of Where'd that come from? the roof. What? There's a buzz. Oh yeah, now there's a buzz. Um, okay, so you push this uh, this crate off the roof. Yeah. And Onto like to, the guy that's on his back. I'd like to push off to these two if possible. Wouldn't you get like a guarantee hit if you got it on a prone person? Uh, there's something like that. I can't remember how that works. Advantage. Advantage uh, against, yeah, someone that's prone. Okay. Not that you have to, I was just thinking there was something. What the heck is up? It's like if I lean it closer this way. Why? I don't know. Bop, bop, bop. Bop to the top. Well, it's bop. Gone. <laughs> Can I um, push the crit on, on this guy? Uh, yeah, I'll say you can do that. So go ahead, you go ahead and do that, and I don't know, I need to calculate. There's a found, there's a... Someone's got a player's handbook. Something look up. object. What am I looking up here? Um, improvised weapon. Improvised weapon, yeah. Uh, oh, hmm. Let me look it up on my computer. What are you, what are you dropping on him? A crate. Crate. Well, I definitely don't think you get proficiency. No, not with an improvised weapon. No. So maybe just an unbonused ranged attack. Mm-hmm. I with think a, so. With advantage because well, you really not, you're aim. not throwing out the prone one. So just just regular, um, on on modified ranged attack. Is that an attack then? Yes. You just don't get to add your modifiers typically because because it's so no proficiency. But since it is a ranged attack, you get to add dexterity. Mm -hmm. So do that. Do it. Go for it. Okay. And then Joey will figure out see if there's yeah. any way to do damage. Uh, you have to go for it, right? Yeah. Okay. To see if it works. An object that bears no resemblance to a weapon deals 1d4 damage. Okay. But the GM assigns a damage type appropriate to the object, okay. Bludgeoning. Smackening. Actually, can I Smackening. Push on the prone guy? Sure, yeah. Here, listen to this little, this little snippet. Sometimes characters don't have their weapons and have to attack with whatever's at hand. An improvised weapon includes any object you can wield with one or two hands, such as broken glass, a table leg, a frying pan, a wagon wheel, or a dead goblin. <laughs> You know. You know, normal stuff that you just find lying around. All right. Uh, what'd you get with your advantage? Oh, even worse. Uh, really? I got 11. Oh. I mean, he's it's, laying down. It's tough to, use to your push in, a box. Use your inspiration. Yeah, use your inspiration. Use your inspiration. Okay. What does that do? You just you roll, roll again. again. <gasps> you. It's like super advantage. Super duper. Come on, I want this to happen. Dude, oh, what? I got five again. <laughs> it's not meant to be. Yeah, the, the universe doesn't want you the, to do the this. The box uh, shatters on the ground next to the, the orc who I looks miss. up straight into the sky. Like from their point of view, it's just a blue. Yeah. Sky. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's pretty smoky. They're, they've been yeah. lighting fire to things. But um, up above it, it like zooms in on Lovey's face and she's like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> they, their oh. eyes meet for a moment. Um, <laughs> it's a meet cue. And then it's the like guy, a hard rack focus. The guy begins to try to get up on his turn. Um, who's next? Wow. Were you throwing <laughs> at the prone guy? Yeah. <laughs> triple After advantage and triple advantage. And nothing. Could, couldn't hit a prone org with He's a box. He's God's favorite. Anyways, that's a new saying. Jasmine. You, you're so bad. You couldn't hit a prone org with a box. That's good. <laughs> triple advantage. Uh, Jasmine. 
Uh, okay. Jasmine is going to... I'm not being helpful this round. Um, yeah. You think it's, it's something, right. that's fine. Let's see, Jasmine is going to pop out from behind her corner. Um, I mean, these crates are made of wood. You could probably target, set them up. Target um, the orc in front of her is with there, magic missile. Is there much um, wood on the ground now? Uh, as much as, a, a little bit more than there was before. Some kindling. Um, and, yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and do um, magic missile. I think Lovey needs a flamethrower. That would be perfect. Does she? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You think that's wise? Yeah. Think of the chaos in think a good of way. The chaos. Um, and we'll do. I'm sure we could rig something up. Let's see. Ten damage to the Minotaur. Um, which is pretty good. The Minotaur is still standing. Or, well, it's not an actual Minotaur. It's an orc, but it is being represented orc. by a Minotaur here. Um, and uh, then she's going to. Pop back behind cover, um, and um, it's actually Molly's. That's buzzing. Uh, mess around with your cable a bit. Like, see if like it's from the mic. Yeah, try to plug it all the way in. It did stop. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah. Maybe you just I don't know, keep it there. Keep it right here. Yeah. Man, your dad is really getting the fire going out there. Yeah, he is. It's gonna hit the tree! Is he out there? Nate? I don't know. Is it all good? Molly, want to check that he's out there? Yeah, I feel like the tree is gonna catch a flame. Yeah, yeah, mom's out there too. Oh. I guess they know what they're doing. They have a hose out there. Jesus Christ. This is Um, scary. Okay, that'll be uh, Jasmine's turn. Um, She's going to. um, uh, Actually, she's going to. Uh, open her bag a little bit, um, and she's going to cast her Change Familiar real quick on Snack. Ooh! Ooh. Um, What's Snack gonna be? Snack is going to become a raven, and she'll say, go, fly up there, tell us what's going on. Mm. Um, nice. Little, little uh, reference to Bird God. <laughs> Buddy the bird. Um, Buddy! Uh, so go get a turtle, yeah, Snack. Snack, snack <laughs> is gonna fly up and uh, see what's going on. See what the Leia land is, because she's been hiding behind cover, so she's not. She doesn't have the full view. Um, uh, Lovey, you see, um, Snack kind of mm-hmm. Snack the bird uh, fly up next to you and just sort of uh, uh, flap around, uh, checking it out. Um, okay, that'll be the end of Jasmine's turn. Who is next? I'm guessing it is Imner. Correct. Um, Imner is going to look at uh, Ivor, who has just taken a big old beating, and he's going to do some magic. And he's going to give you, um, he's going to, let's see, there's four of you, so 12, he's going to give you 12 hit points back. Oh, yeah! Um, I like that. Not temporary, he's healing me, right? He's healing you. Okay. Um, they would be temporary if they went over your max. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's since you're under your, they're just, he's just healing you. Um... That will be, uh, let's see. And then uh, he'll go ahead and he'll zap uh, the guy directly that way from me. Um, and he'll go ahead and uh, kill that one. Um, if you want to take that one off the board. Yep, there we go. That one is gone. Who's next? I am. I'm trying to figure something out. Um, so if I were there. 5, 10, 15. 15. So it says, okay, a 15 foot cube emanating from me. Would that be three across and three down? What? A uh, 15 foot cube emanating from emanating you? Emanating from me. Yeah, like it would be. Yeah, three by three. Three by three starting on you, or uh, the dir- space directly next to you. So if I was standing right next to Imner, mm. or right next to Ivor. Can I let go of my character and just show you what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So if I were right here, it would start here and get these three. I believe so. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to do that. Um, I march on up to them. Okay. And I'm going to do Thunder Wave. <coughs> thunder Wave! Thunder Wave! Okay. Thunder! Na-na-na-na-na-na. 
Yeah, yeah I'm Thor right now, so I'm just like. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay, so each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from me must make a Constitution saving throw. Um, on a failed save, they take 2d8 thunder and are pushed 10 feet away, as well as unsecured physical objects. So a lot of these ball bearings, as well as maybe this cart and that cart, okay. get yep. pushed 10 feet. On a successful save, they take half damage and they don't get pushed. Okay. I don't think the carts can save. Exactly. So they're probably going to get pushed. <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide. You tell me... I think Imner probably knows what I'm thinking. As I kind of slow motion walk up, I'm going to turn to Imner, and I'm hoping to see in his face either a, like, do old magic or a, do what you want to do. And I just want to see, like, what I can see in his face when I'm looking at him. Whether or not he knows that's what I'm asking, what do I see in his face? Uh, to him, if any any time you ask that question, the answer is yes. <laughs> Do old magic. Fuck. So I'm gonna rock on up there, and I'm just gonna. Because you're never gonna get better at it if you don't. Right. If you don't try. I'm just scared because my friends, you know. So, I will not use the incantation. I will close my eyes and I clench my fist and I kind of like go, like that. Mm -hmm. And I want to think like, there is lightning. Like you know how when you're looking up at the night sky and it's like this really dark gray cloud, and then within it, the dimensions are shown when, when lightning flashes. Mm -hmm. Something like that emerges, and like a, a gust of wind. Mm. That's what it looks like. Okay. And it pushes them uh, cool. yeah, coming out of my go hand. Ahead and do it. Um, yes. Yeah, Mal, I don't know what the, what the issue is, but you gotta keep it towards you, otherwise it, it's humming. It's buzzing, yeah. Yeah, better. Do I add something to it? Uh, I don't know. What does it say? Well, I don't know. Do I add stuff to my spells, Joseph? Not unless it says. Yeah, it will. It'll specify. For action. Well, then I got a um, nineteen. Nice. And that's to hit. That's that's, that's how it to works? hit. Okay, then yeah, you hit all of them. Cool. <laughs> oh wait, no, no wonder I was like, what are we doing? Constitution save. Okay. Against your spells DC, which, which is, is 16. 16. Are they going to take damage? They ought to. Mm -hmm. They ought to. Um, Gore blood is in that, yes? Yep. It's Yeah, one, two, knock three. his ass down. And your DC you said was 16? Yes. Um, so he hits a 16, which means he's good. He's good. Um, well, he'll take half. He'll still probably fall off of the cart, though. Because uh, look, at push 10 feet? Yep. Yeah. Um, 28. Is that prone one within this as well? No, it's okay. not. Uh, the other three will fail their constitution checks. Okay. Um, so they will take fold. Okay. Nice. Okay, so 11 points total for, or 11 points, 11 points for both of these guys. Mm -hmm. And they get thrown five, 10 feet and are knocked prone. Okay, Minotaur dies. Which one? Yeah. Um, and then the other one uh, is not happy about it. I bet not. And then he gets um, six okay. points of damage. And he does not get pushed. However, these two carts get pushed 10 feet. Um, they just shatter. They shatter? Underneath him and the, the wood splinters fly behind him. Um, he is going to make a check to see if he stays... Uh, upright, and he's going to fall prone. Yes. Um, and okay. you can just erase that cart. Okay. It's so gone. How Cabbage much, flying everywhere. How much wood would you say? A woodchuck could chuck. <laughs> if a woodchuck could chuck a wood cabbage. Chuck. How much wood debris is all over now? Probably a lot of Debris. wood debris. Yeah, it's you can't. It's tough to step without stepping they're, on some wood. They're in a, they're like kindling of a fire. Just like it's just Ooh, waiting to happen. Fire covered in cabbage guts. Cabbage guts. Mm, just little splinters mm. of wood. Three of them just laying cabbage. there. They're just laying. They're there. just ready for the fire. Oh wait, wild magic search. Ah uh, yes. Ooh. Uh, how did we do that? 
I uh, I roll something and then you tell me on the chart where it lands. Oh okay. no, I roll a percentage die. So that would be Um you roll a D twenty for something. No. Uh can I But you did Can I get a hand pl- handbook, please? I wanna read the part. Player's handbook. Because I feel like you roll a D or do I just did I have I just been saying that because you did it you'd get a wild magic surge? No, I thought it was anytime I use well, not true. components. Okay, I think it's you're a right. wild magic surge, but I thought it was okay, a Okay, yes, roll roll percentile. Percentile. So that would be this one and then what other one? The other one that looks like that. This one? Mhm. Okay. I'm scared. 52 Um, a, a, uh, shimmering, uh, blue, white, um, after I do thing, my... right, after that, um, just like, <sighs> swirling in front of you, this, uh, spectral shield kind of hovers in front of you, um, and for the next minute, you are granted a uh, plus two to your AC. Oh, that's yeah. pretty sweet. Can and I see immunity through? to magic missile, if Whoa, that comes up. Oh, very Ooh. nice. So yeah, I in have case one of these orcs. Plus two to my AC? Yes. Cool. <clears throat> Just for funsies, gore blood knows magic missile. Just yeah. for funsies. <laughs> um, here, I'll give that back. In case I, look at, I look at Imner, and I'm like, Neh? And he, he nods approvingly. Yay. Um, okay. Is that it for Willow? <sighs> um, I think I'll back up. Like, does my shield come with me? Does yes. it follow me? Yep. <laughs> I got a little friend. Cool. No, I got a little friend. I'm only gonna... How... Does it also cover other people or just me? Just you. Okay, then I'll, I guess I'll just... Gonna go like boop, boop. Um, okay. Uh, who is next? Um, baddies. Baddies. Okay. Uh, Goreblood is going to use his movement to stand back up. Um, he is going to uh, use his first attack. Um, okay. His uh, first attack? Actually, first what he's going to do is he's going to um, just go Orcs! Where? What was his voice? It was kind of like... Um, uh, it was like, it was like Bassus, right? Dude, Bassus. Bassus. I mean, we could, we could go with Bassus. Um, yeah. Orcs! Well, I don't know what Bassus is like. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kill them, I don't know. <laughs> Just do it already. Um, and he does his... He, he battle cries. Um, and all the other orcs around him kind of like... Rah! Yeah, um, buffs them. They, they all get jazzed. The uh, other two that are prone, they, they'll stand back up, and then Gorblet is going to... They get jazzed. Um, ...smack right at Crazy Ivor. Paws shows up. Like, <laughs> hey! Um, hey! Ivor, 16 to hit? Yes. All Where right. money. Um, all right. With his great axe, he's going to smack you, and that's going to be... Not pretty... Um, it's going to be 13. All right. Um, slashing damage, if you're resistant to anything. No, uh, well... Are you raged? I'm raged, yeah. So resistance to... Resistance against piercing and slashing, right? Yeah, you might want to double check on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not totally sure. Um, Which would mean the damage is... Halved. Halved? Yeah. Is that what resistance means? That's what Zap does on... Or, this is fucking D20. Um, he's going to then uh, attack again against uh, Ivor this time. Mm. A um, 11 is not going to hit. Um, and he will make a third attack thanks to his battle cry. Um, and that is definitely going to hit with a 24. Mm-hmm. Sure is. For a additional eight slashing damage, I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Mm. Okay, very sweet. So, so he did initial uh, thirteen, yep, which gets halved to seven. seven, and then he got 
eight more, which is half to eight. Or I'm sorry, four. Four. <laughs> eight is eight. So only eleven total. Yeah. yeah with, with, wow, honestly, with three helpful. attacks that he made against you, only eleven is not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Yeah. Right. Take it. Um. He is going to well, a little bit for for gore blood. Um, gore blood. The two that are uh, prone, they're going to stand up. Can um, they stand up in the ball pairings? That is a good question. What's the DC for that? I don't know. Probably still 10. 10. 10. Yeah. Um, well, they both got 20s, so uh, yeah, they're going to stand up. They have learned um, from their mistakes. And then they will uh, go ahead and move through that. I guess they have to I make have another to check. Again. Pass and pass. Um, and then they're both going to advance on Jasmine. Oh no, Yikes. she's just like peeking her head around mm-hmm. and then the next time she peeks there's just two orcs there. So six squares? Uh, yeah. Two, three, that should be four, able to make five, it. six, three, four. Wait, five, six, okay. I was like trying to see if we Attack were of opportunity! Is it though? Because they didn't walk out of your... They walked through a square. They walked they were, through were, your sphere, but, but they didn't. Still in that your, was they didn't, in your sphere. They didn't walk out of your sphere. Isn't that true? Maybe. That's what I was. That's what I was trying to figure Maybe. out. Um, okay, so one is uh, one is going to attack Jasmine. But wait, sorry, I have a question. They did walk out of Lovey's square. No, because she's like twenty feet up. Oh, I thought she's only ten feet. Which still. Even then, they, yeah. Never um, mind. Okay, one is going to attack Jasmine. I'm scared. Um, and we'll hit Jasmine. Uh, let's see, what is there? Yikes. Yeah? Um, that's going to be 14 damage. Mm. Big yikes. The other one can attack me. The other one is going to attack you, you're right. Uh, I have a plus. Two nice. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Um, so that one will swing and miss against you. Um, let's see. We got one up against Imner. Um, who's going to get... Not enough. Um, all right, so that one not going to hit. And I think that's everyone. Gorblet did all his stuff. Okay. Um, now we just have the two-headed fella who is going to... Um, Notice that Lovey has been throwing things down. Um, oh shit! Oh no! And whatnot. Um, He's tall too. Yeah. How tall? Uh. Not, not twenty feet. Just sure. like seven yeah, feet. Um. But I bet his area of attack is probably ten. Let's see. That's still only seventeen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he can't reach you, but. Um. This. Gonna... This. Uh. Creature is going to walk right over to the corner of the building there um, where Lovey is and will just start Annihilating the actual building itself oh, trying Jesus. To oh, Bring geez. it down better Because um, uh, it can't away. climb up. It doesn't feel like climbing up there um, And it's gonna just be talking to the two heads are gonna be talking to each other saying like Well, I bet if we could just smack it down, you know, we could get it down right here right now We don't eat it all good and the other one's like <sighs> But we must take this slowly <laughs> and be methodical about it because the what's important is, I mean, if we're going to fight them at all, it's about the chase, you know? It's about the, the sport of it, really. It's not It's not all about eating the meat, so you know? Like, oh, we, uh, must we be such barbaric animals? Yeah, we, we're going to be much barbaric. We gotta be. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it'll just start smacking the building. You feel a rumbling. Um, you probably got maybe... Six seconds to get down, oh, shit. or off, okay. or around, or else you're gonna fall into rubble. It, can I go in now? Um, what if when she you run your the turn? Other one? I was going to do. Yeah. I'm I'm saying like you have maybe two rounds. Oh, got you. Um, before this building falls. Um, <coughs> who is next? After the baddies? Yes, Ivor. I am going to take a step up to. Gore blood, and I'm going to say gore blood. Or sorry, that was his voice. Gore um, blood. <laughs> gore blood. <clears throat> um, gore blood. More like snore blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural one, but because I have great weapon fighting, I get to reroll ones and twos. Thank nice. God. 
<laughs> that good? It's not terrible. 14? Oh, okay. Um, not enough to hit Gore Blood. Ah, that's all I got. <laughs> so he that's starts my turn. to yeah. That's all he's got. To his. So I just go. Gore Blood's like, I like. I could be hit by no <laughs> you. Good one. <laughs> you guys are not hot. Yeah, this we're isn't, just like, we're like, both like, of you guys are not great at the we're, verbal we're ver- sparring. Verbally, yeah, verbally sparring, but it's just like failure you on guys, left and right. Stop. No. <laughs> Um. All right. Uh, was that? That's it for Ivor. That's yes. it for Ivor. Mm-hmm. Who's next? Lovey. All right, Lovey. Uh, I would do? love. I would love some confirmation that if I started a fire right here, that there would be things that would burn. Uh, make a. Can you do insight on wood? Uh, makes make a check to see what the uh, the um dryness of the wood is. Can I do perception? Sure. Uh, 20 not net. Um, yeah, I'd say, okay, so you, there are parts of it that are a little dampened by cabbage guts. There is a lot of it that would probably go up in flame pretty quick, um, but it's not going to be, like, instantaneous. Like, if you drop a match on it, it's going to take a while. If you drop a Molotov cocktail on it, it'd probably go pretty quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll make... I'll make a cocktail. She's just up there, like. <laughs> She's like Tom Cruise and got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got my. Oil. Got stuff. Yeah. Got the stuff. Got the goods. We got the stuff. Arby's, we have stuff. Arby's, we have the stuff. <laughs> uh, so is that your action? I think that would be your action to make it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can so I you drove- you throw it too I think last time you had her make and throw in the same turn but I don't know if you want that to be a consistent thing did I do thing. that did I do that I don't, I don't recall honestly it, t- it feels rules. like it would take an action to craft yeah, but she could right. probably move yeah you could move I'm gonna, if you wanted to I'm jump. gonna use my movement to yeah um, you can still catch everything on fire from the other building all right, where yeah. are you moving to? Yeah. I'm going to hop on the other building. This one this way? Yep. Okay. Um, that, that's only... Wasn't that just like... We did this in the... in the. Yeah, I think that's within your... your library, your and she, I don't think she has to roll for it. Yeah, I think you're fine. It's under... Um, okay, so yeah, you, you leap over there and you craft your cocktail and you're ready to go for your next turn. Nice. Um, okay, who That's is next? Do they see that she jumps or do they keep hitting this wall? Uh, they... Can I do stealth? Uh, yeah, you can roll a stealth check to... I think you're going to win. Uh, 19? Yeah, they don't appear to have... Nice. They don't appear to have noticed uh, that you jumped. Um, they're, they still keep smacking. they're still bickering. They're still bickering, and they yeah. keep smacking the um, okay. the wall there. Uh, who's next? Jasmine. Jasmine um, is Jasmine. going to. She got beat a little bit recently. Look at her spell list. And Jasmine just like. Jasmine, this is no time to read. <laughs> it's always time to read a book. Um. Did the music stop because you're looking something up yes. on your phone? Yes, it did. Can't you look it up on the computer? I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> Fireball. Um. Um, okay, as a uh, bonus action, she's going to Misty Step. Um, uh, she's going to Misty Step like six squares that way behind Willow. 
um, to get so to like safety. One, two, three, four, five, six, or something. Right here. Uh, yeah, if that's away from the enemies. I mean, like from here to here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so she does that, and um, that is the spell she's going to be able to use this round. Um, so now that she is safe, she is. Come on, look at her equipment. What she has. Uh, she's going to use her healing potion. Which remind me, is that like how many D four? Um, uh, is it just a standard healing potion? Yes. Two D four plus two. Okay. Not bad. All right. Um, Imner is next. Imner is next. Uh, who's taken a beating recently? Jasmine. Jasmine's full. Are you? Are you what are? You, how, how many? I'm are at you forty. At? What's your max? Um, forty-nine. Okay. I'm also pretty good right now, so um, you can. Beat on me. Uh, he is going to... Beat on me. Uh, <laughs> instead of healing this round, he's going to um, do a couple of kills. Uh, Just he will, get a couple of kills. Um, the he's gonna do orc the that's this way from him. Yes, uh, that one will go away. Um, what do you, how? Just dead. But what does he do? Um, all right, he'll be a little dramatic. Uh, it, um, he'll kind of like point and... Uh, his finger will light up with uh, yellow light, and then from within the orc, you see yellow light just sort of start coming out of the eyes oh and the ears gosh. and everywhere, oh, and it shit. just sort of like melts. Oh, shit. Keep um, like in Raiders of Lost Ark? Kind of, yeah. Cool. Um, it's Imner's favorite movie. And then he will point at the uh, one with the big ol' axe. Um, this one? Yep. And uh, we'll um, do like zoop. And the guy will like unzip from the groin up and just. Oh fall my god! Into two halves. What the fuck, Imner? That's gross, Imner. You guys asked how he did it. He could have just made him drop, but. No, I want to see some guy get unzipped. Yeah, I want to see some jupe. <laughs> um, Show me the jupe. And there's like a, a zigzag jagged line all the way up. Um, okay, so that will be Imner's turn. Uh, just ending people. Um, <laughs> you good? <laughs> I didn't almost just fall. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, Can we crack a window open? I'm getting a little hot. Yeah, it's uh, super yeah. hot. Cool. Crack open. Or yeah, I guess I can crack that open. Just break this um, nice, break window. nice window here. Um, okay. Uh, that'll be Imner's turn. Um, who's next? That would be me. Um... Hold on just a second. I mean, all right, I'm gonna. I'm. Willow's feeling antsy, so she's just gonna walk on up to this guy. Um, and she's gonna use shock and grasp, so she's gonna just touch his back okay. and try to. Um, With or without? Him. Oh yeah. Um, without, I don't want to lose my AC. Without, without. I, it, it doesn't like overwrite it. Oh okay. Then I yeah I'll I'll not use my um my components and I'll just go. So from my fingertips, you can kind of my skin almost becomes like translucent. You can see lightning kind of coming up my That's fingers. So and then it goes into his back if it if it works. Either way, you, you know can what else see happens? it. What? Your eyes glow. <gasps> can anybody see this? What happens? Uh, you're turned away from. Well, Lovey, do you do you uh, yeah, are you I'm looking like back you. at the crew? I'm looking. You notice uh, as as Willa does this that her eyes glow uh, white hot for a second. Ooh. I got 18. Uh, that'll hit. Okay, so that means. Okay, one d eight, which is. This boy, I believe. Wait, yeah. OK. 
Okay, that is five damage only, but it can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Okay. So, Which yeah. means you could walk away from it. Yeah, and I think I will. So I just go like, and then I just go like, um, he, he's like, um, In turns fact, around, but has, just has no, <laughs> no, no chance here. to hit you. Um, cool. Who's next? Um, that would be the baddies. The baddies. Uh, gosh, wouldn't you know it? There's a fresh block of them. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Coming down the lane. Not these chumps. Chumps. Someone's got to do a fireball again. Someone. Don't know who. I'll do a fireball. <laughs> Honestly, you, you're about to. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, where are people? Who's next to Gorblood? Is Ivor still next to Gorblood? Yes. Well, Ivor's going to get smacked. No. Um, first attack, 12 to hit. Not going to hit. Um. Second attack, nat- natural one. Yup. Um, Ooh, what happens? He's what just going to lose his grip on his great axe and it'll go nice. sailing off <laughs> um, into the dirt. Nice. Uh, he will take out a spear um, yeah. and prepare for the next round. All right. Um, All right. Oh, I'm going to eviscerate you because my name is Goldblood the Eviscerator. I thought it was Poopinator. What, are you going to evis- me, eviscerate me with the toothpick? <laughs> That's right. I pick my teeth with this after I use it on your guts. Why? That, does, I, that defeats the purpose. I like blood. That's not very <laughs> sanitary. Gore blood. Gore and blood. The eviscerator. Is that the given name or a taken name? I... Uh, Take names and kick ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of toothpicks. <laughs> you got one right there, Whoa. buddy. Oh, I mean, I guess that is what we were... You know what? Um, <laughs> Very so eloquent to this one. I can see why he's the leader. That'll be it for blood. Uh, the one that Willow touched is going to turn around and Ooh. run over towards Willow because um, he's annoyed oh. that you shockinated him. Goreblood the shockinator. Um, and will attack Willow and get an at one. Um, okay. So how about uh, the sh- the electricity is still coursing through him? Right when he's it's like he hit his funny bone all of a sudden. Yeah. He's like, oh god. Um, and he will uh, drop his great axe and have to take out his javelin um, to prepare for his next attack. I laugh the, at him when he drops this thing. I go, oh. <laughs> the oh. two-headed creature is going to. Uh, finish demolishing the building. The building s- just falls. Um, and, uh, yep. Yeah, um, it's Idiot. just a whole mess of rubble. Dumb. Um, and we'll notice, wait a minute, she's not in here, she isn't. Well, of course not. She's obviously jumped to a different building. I don't know why we're still having this discussion. Turn around, you moron. Moron. Don't call me a... M- I'm sorry. Okay, I know. I oh. I respect you. You re- were respected. It's... Yes, okay. She's over there. <laughs> um, and I will turn around uh, and start beating on the building you're on now. Um, let's see. The... Um, Orc here kind of notices what the two-headed creature is doing um, and will look up and notice Lovey and will uh, begin to scale that building on its way up, um, clearly not realizing that this building is on its way down. Yeah. Um, we'll climb up, so go ahead and put that uh, creature or that orc on top. Yep, and then they'll have enough room to run, run over to Lovey. Um, and let's go ahead and get a little smack on Lovey. No, Lovey. Mm, Lovey. Um, Lovey, how does a... Uh, 15 do. That hits. 15 will hit. Um, okay. And... Um, Those dice see. seem to glow, don't they? Yeah. Um, do, 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 do 12 damage. Do, 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 do 12. Um, let's see. Oh my god, that's a lot. Do, 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 get wrecked. Uh, this guy, um, the next guy, yep, is going to also climb up there and not have enough time to get to Lovey, just on the corner there. Um, climb, climb, climb. Uh, these two, actually, you know what? 
does have enough room to get to Levy because they have think... their aggressiveness. Oh, okay. So I they can, as a bonus that. action, run to again. Um, so they will get up to Levy. Um, how does a 12 do? No. 12 does not hit, nice. so they will miss. Um, those two guys are going to run, looks like, 60 feet um, up towards Imner and Jasmine. That? Uh, do keep going all the way down. There you go. And then the other one will run up to him there. Should be able to make it. Cool. Um, attack on Imner is going to miss. Um, and then the attack on Jasmine is what was Jasmine's AC? Hmm. Yeah. My wild magic surge from doing. Oh yeah, um, we go ahead and roll that. Okay. Um, and then I'll need a player's handbook. Yeah. Um, all right, Jasmine is going to get smacked. Um, and nope. Mm. Um, for twelve against Jasmine. Boom. Um. Can I get a player's handbook, please? I am looking up Wild Magic Surge table, unless that ruins it for you. I like that. So okay. what was your number? 71. Okay, great. Um, you gain resistance to all damage. Whoa! <laughs> For how long? A um, minute. Insane. Resistance to all damage, so everything I take is halved. Do you yes. still have your shield? Yes. Main character moment. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, no um, Jesus. Okay, so that, let's see. Um, is it still Baddie's turn? It was. Um, uh, did they I, did went, they went, they went. Did they attack Jasmine yet? Yeah. Yes. The guy up against you, Willow, the attacker. They already guy. went, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. That is... So now it's Ivor's turn after. I'm going to go pee. Okay. It's your turn, Ivor. Yay. Are you going upstairs or downstairs? Right here. Oh, right here. Oh, hey, Gord Blood. You look like shit. Sixteen. Uh, that will hit. Yes. And I'll put the smite down on him. Do it. Smite it. So. Smiterize him. Smiterized. Um. Oh god, that sucks. Uh, okay. Come on. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage, pretty good. With the smite included. All right, Gorblet has been smotened. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna stay put. Just trading blows with this piece of shit. Then, then it's back around to um. Tank Levy. Yes. <sighs> Have you watched the new episodes of uh, She-Hulk? No, not yet. No. no. I just gave up on it. No, I just we haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. She was out of town part of last week and um. We just didn't do it over the weekend. It's, um... Getting decent reviews, so maybe they... are turning it around, but... Maybe. It was a rough well, fucking, some, was a fucking... Some shows might just not be for everyone. Yeah, you're pretty forgiving when it comes to Marvel stuff. Yes. I'd like to think that you try to see the best in it. So I would be surprised if 
it just it it would need to start getting better like immediately. Yeah. Because it ended. <laughs> episode one ended really poorly. And two was not enough. It was better. Oh, but oh okay. There is I I haven't I didn't know that you'd watch. Three two. is the only one that I haven't seen. Okay. Um. And yeah, two was fine. Just fine. Not nearly good enough to yeah. make up for one. That one is bad. It's just, it's just such a lazy, just bad. Uh, just not good. Not good. Have you seen the uh, the kid that um, was like at probably the Minnesota State Fair? He was doing the I like corn thing. Have you seen that meme? Yeah. Yeah. Today I opened up my, um, or yesterday I opened up my Instagram thing, and it was like a POV video of somebody like putting together somebody's Chipotle bowl. Oh, I, I've heard of this. I haven't seen the video. But yeah. It's just it, but it's 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 it's. She's like, "Do you want corn?" And it pans up, and it's the fucking kid, and he's like, he's like corn, but he's like there, like yeah. he's in the actually sponsored Chipotle video. I was just like, good for him. I on one hand, yes. On one hand, it's like. Awesome. I bet they got a ton of money for that. On the other hand, it's like That's fast. That is a, that is incredibly fast acquisition of a meme for advertisement purposes. Like that's the I think that's That video has been around for a while though. Oh, I thought that video just came out like 2 weeks ago. I don't think it was that fast cuz I feel like I'd seen it before just mm. the the most recent bout cuz most recently uh, the Songify guys made a song. Oh, okay. It. But that video, I think, has been around for at least a couple months. Oh, I see. That was what I wasn't... Okay. But either way, Chipotle has latched onto its... It has become Mimi, probably because yeah. of the Songify guys, in the last two weeks. Like, yes. more Mimi, I would say. Yeah. So it's just, it's like, Jesus Christ. Advertising fuckers are vipers. I'm playing Doom again. Which one? First one? First one. It's fun. It's fun. It's a good game. They've made a good game. Anything you're getting out of it? What are you planning on? Xbox. Oh, feels... no. What, what? I'm sorry. I did that. It was not a very well specified oh. question. What difficulty are you playing uh, on? The third from Lois. Not... Not... Ultraviolence, I think. Her, her, oh, Ultraviolence. So there's... I'm too young to die. Hurt me plenty. Ultra or uh, yeah, ultra violence. Nightmare. Ultra nightmare. Okay. So. Pretty. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. The game is hard. Um. It's, it. I I uh, I thought this when I first played Eternal, and I think it now it just like it, playing Eternal makes going back to 2016 really difficult. Yeah. Even though I yeah. like 2016 better, I think it's. I like it as a game more. It, it's like I've been handicapped mm -hmm. because I don't have my double dash. Yeah. And I don't yeah. have like um, the weak points. Like, and you're you're so used to that. Yeah. Um, but like honestly, you know, it's I think that the the game is better when you can't just always shoot a sticky grenade into a cacodemon's mouth and kill it yeah. instantly. Right. Like, Cacodemons are hard. They're now. real hard. And yeah. Mancubi are hard now. Yeah. Because you can't just disable their cannons or mm -hmm. stagger them instantly. Right. Um, the progression feels really slow. Um, 
because I think in Eternal they're like, all right, you guys know what these things are. We're just gonna here have Give fun, you the weapons right get away. all the stuff. And like, you get the weapons fast, mm -hmm. I think, but like upgrading them takes a long time. Like, you spend a right, lot of right, time right. with just the base weapons mm -hmm. that are unupgraded. Mm -hmm. um, which, I, I mean, like, it all, if you look at it over two games, it works as a progression from game right. one to game two about the learning curve. Yeah, it's fun to play them. It's how many elements you have to deal with. But going backwards, it clearly wasn't, you know, it's like Doom Eternal overwrote how I play Doom, mm -hmm. and it's like, I mean, you can still do it, you can still do the, the you know, swapping weapons and stuff, but yeah. like, there's so much, there's just less options in Doom 2016, which is a ridiculous thing to say, because like, it already has way more options than most other games. As, as far, far as, as like, combat goes? Yeah, yeah like, your, sure. your methods of ex expression are yeah. so much greater in Doom right, 2016 right, than right. in most FPS games, but they're if even far less than Doom Eternal, mm -hmm. so you feel like God, if only I could do the things that I, yeah. you know, my fingers want to do. And Doom Eternal is like such a, it's just so like oversaturated with like in, just everything from time to time that it would be yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely how I felt revisiting regular Doom recently. Just too bad because I I I I wish that it didn't make the first one feel. Not, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's comfy. Regular Doom's it's a great. Feeling. Regular Doom's great. Because like Half Life Two and Half Life, they don't do that. There's not a, right. really many other game sequels where the second one makes the first one feel bad, even though it's not right. bad, but like limited. Lesser, yeah. Yeah, um, it's because a lot. It's because most of those games don't like have a game that feels pretty much the same, except like. You you're playing a game where you're you the point you start at is like where if you were playing a regular game you you'd be like halfway upgraded at that point mm -hmm. you know like when you start out the game you're you already have all this mobility that you never even had in the first one you're yeah. like oh I'm just playing the same game but I'm just like buffed up right now oh. Molly Molly oh, so sore. Yeah. Stiff. Oh. Like the worst is like my neck. Like my neck and all down my back is like so yeah. tense. Or just like pulled muscles, honestly. Right. It's kind of painful. Lots of water. <sighs> I'm trying, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. Lay down on the bench for two seconds. Good plan. Hello, Pepperoo. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that helps. What about if you lay on your back? Do you think oh, that would hurt? Maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> wow. I had no idea. I know what. That you laying mean. down felt good. Yeah. Right. I know, I know I get it sort of help as much as it does. I think it's just because like it takes all the like the weight off my spinal column. Yeah. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, super, super tense. Um, last time just jumping around. <clears throat> Whose door is it? Levy. Ah. <laughs> Your
your hours are mean tomorrow. Yeah. It's like the worst. At least I'm not closing. That's true. So you're not zoning then? I might zone a little bit, but okay. I don't have to end the night. You about zoning? Zoning is uh, what we do at the end of the night at work. It's, what is that? It's uh, making it, straightening everything out, making it look nice, cleaning up stuff that people have left places. Bringing everything to the front of the aisle or, or shelves and stuff like that. And it is very demoralizing when you there's just too much that's screwed up and you can't do it all in one night and you go home and have having done not a good enough job. Or at least that's how it feels. It feels yeah. like you can't win some nights. Yeah, I feel like that. There's just a constant cycle of people like coming in and wanting to get stuff. And being like, okay, how are we making this shopping experience like viable for them? Right. Molly! She'll probably want to go to bed soon. Yeah, I'm just wish I could shake it down here. To I'm gonna set throw this. What are you throwing? Maltov cocktail. Molotov cocktail. Nah. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, uh who are you throwing it at? I'd love to throw it um Probably two heads, I feel like you could splash if you throw that at the two guys next to you. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna throw it at the two heads guy. Nice. Um we gotta write down how, what our rules are for Molotovs because we keep forgetting every time. Well, I forget. Um, uh, oh, Alchemist Fire. Look that up. It's in the handbook or whatever. Um, do, 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 I swear do, do, there's do, a do, Molotov do. cocktail. Do, 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 do. You said Alchemist Fire? Yeah. Maybe that's something we should just write down. Unless that's what you just said, and I missed it. Yeah, we should give Molly a little card that has Maybe it. Maybe I should it. just get Alphabet's Fire. <laughs> yeah, that too. <gasps> but it's probably a ranged attack. It's ranged. So you can go ahead and do that. Oh, that's better. That's good, I'm glad. Yeah, that helps me do that. a little bit. I started closing my eyes near the end there. And I was like, nope. Oh, don't oh do boy. that. Don't do that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, do I need to? Uh, probably not. Ranged? Yeah, it's just a ranged throwing attack. But does she have a bonus on ranged attacks? Her dexterity. Oh, okay. Well, then just your dexterity. Alright, so 24. Ooh. That'll hit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, go ahead good. and uh, mm -hmm. figure out. How much damage Alchemist Fire does? Are they wearing like flammable clothing? Um, most clothing is. Same as these. Got one damage. Uh, how's it work? Is it last um, over time? 
They take 1d4 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. Uh, Alright, one damage it is. Yeah. But then it stays on fire, right? Yeah. Is there what a does... check? They just stop, drop, um, and roll, but as they stop, drop, and roll, they're just setting all the wood on fire. Uh, creature can end this damage by using its action to make a DC 10 dexterity check to extinguish the flames. Okay. Um, uh, all the wood on the ground uh, gets splashed with this as well and starts to nice. starts to light up yeah. um, around it. Uh, are you going to move at all? Are you Are going to hang out with these yeah, two I fellas? Love, I would love to run and jump back onto the um, broken building. Uh, okay. Um, do you have a thing to evade uh, opportunity attacks? Disen- you can disengage as a bonus action, can't yeah. you? But then she just can't nice. move to the next... No, she does it as a bonus action, so then she can ah, do her move. Ah, yes. cool. Um, free. Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. So you disengage as a bonus action, and then you yeah. jump across. Cool. So, like, um, can I get a dex... Uh, Acrobatics. Say, well, so you're landing on, like, rubble and stuff, right? Um, so just a, just a quick dex check to make sure that you're good. Um, Yeah, you're good. Nice. Uh, you, you you land on the rubble and then you can move along it. Um, it will be difficult to terrain, uh, but if you have anything to counter that, then you're good. Um, like shoes. You do have sticky <laughs> shoes. Uh, cool. Uh, is that it for Lovey? Yeah. Cool. Um, let's uh, move on then. Next. Jasmine's next. Jasmine is going to go ahead and magic missile the guy right in front of her. You. You. Um, Okay, she does a decent amount of damage. She does 11 damage against uh, nice. that fellow there. Um, cool. Uh, and then... Imner is next. Yeah, she's not going to move because she doesn't want an opportunity attack. Um, Imner is next. He's going to uh, turn around. The guy that's facing Willow, he's going to just go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, oh. I was like, what am I going to do about him? Uh, and then he's going to... Let's see. Who's been hurt? Jasmine. Jasmine's been hurt, yes. And no. Lovey. Lovey's and been hurt recently. How, uh, how much, Lovey? I'm at 22. Out of? 34. Um, okay, Jasmine's 34. hurt a little bit more. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and heal Jasmine on this turn. Um, cool. Uh, that'll be it for Imner. Who's next? Baddies? It's me. You. Do it's it. It's me. It's okay. me. Well, that guy is now gone. Correct. So maybe I can help out um, Jasmine and try to get this dude here. I just start throwing cabbages at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I want just like a one thing. That's too much damage just in case it does do good. Okay, I'm gonna do Firebolt. Yep. Standing where I'm at. Um, and I'm going to, I'm gonna hit the target takes blah, blah, blah. So I am just gonna do my incantations. I'm just gonna okay. say it because I think I'm, I'm acting so fast that I just like do it because that's sure. still my knee jerk reaction. So just plain old flame um, comes out and um, attempts to hit this worker over. Which one? This guy in front of Jasmine. Okay. Eighteen. That will hit. Okay, and then that would be ten. This is twelve. This is okay. Ooh, I got ten. Nice. Ten points of um, fire damage. On that guy. All right. And then I'm also going to move a little bit. Thanks. Five, ten, fifteen. Twenty. Okay. Can't believe that guy's not dead yet. I was hoping that would push him 
over the edge. Which guy? This guy in front of Jasmine. Um, I'm sure he's close. These these fresh guys. Uh, but he's not fresh, is he? He is. Fresh. Yeah. Oh, he um, fresh. They look a little, little uh, more beefy. <sighs> beefy. Um, okay. Uh, who's next? Um, that would be baddies. Baddies. Okay. Oh. Um, the guy next to uh, Imner is going to be like. Uh, Ayo. This this old man's a bit too hard to hit. I'll go for the young one in the coonskin cap. I will. Oh. Uh, turns He's goes just towards narrating Ivor. himself. Is he uh, moving forward? Yeah, he <laughs> narrating himself. Uh, <laughs> he will. Attack. He's taking a writing class, and that was the um, assignment this week. Uh, talk about yourself. In the third Narrate person. yourself. Yeah, He's um, learning. Thirteen's not going to do it. And let's see, seventeen. Does that do it? 17 hits. So it do. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, guys. Do, do, do. Cheetos are really good. Aren't they? They're like one of the tastiest things ever. It's unfortunate how tasty they are. It is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, just five damage. Just Ain't, five. No thing. Mm-hmm. Ain't no thing. Um, Goreblood is going to also attack Ivor um, with his Spear, um, which is going to be yeah. uh, 21 to hit, so that'll hit um, against Ivor. These look so vibrant in this light. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. They're like. <laughs> they really do. Such a f- bright orange. Let's see. Just seven on the first attack. Seven damage. Um, Was it piercing? Uh, oh shit, that's yes. right. So you can go ahead and have that mm-hmm. last one. Got you. Um, let's see, another. S- but not uh, the previous one? Uh, the previous one was, was slashing damage, so you could so take half of that. I that too. Um, okay. So it'll hit I remember how much the last attack. one was. Seven? Seven? I mean, yeah, probably just like that. Um, let's see. Nine damage on this one, halved. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, so that will be uh, Gorebloods. Okay. That took uh, a little damage attack. that time. Um, he is going to. Uh, let's see. He will um, use uh, all of his movement to shift back one. Um, and kind of let let the other guy uh, get up in Ivor's business. Uh, the two guys on the roof. Um, is has will, it fallen yet? Is it gonna fall now? Uh, is the roof gonna fall? That's yeah, because you know, oh. this guy's been yeah, hitting I'll say it. He, and Lovey's he, on it. Yeah. He goes no, first. He, left. he smacks it. Um, the roof oh, the goes other down. One. Those guys will go ahead and fall into the rubble and <laughs> yeah. become prone. Uh, the other guy will turn and, and say. Well, obviously she's jumped again. This is, we are taking too much time on this small creature. Let's go attack someone else. Oh my God. They didn't react at all to getting hit in the face with the multi- the other one's fire? Like, well, the other one, the other head says, Oh, we just been smacked in here with fire. We have, we are, oh, it's, oh, it's so fiery. And the guy's like, oh, get over yourself. Let's go smack someone else. Get over <laughs> yourself. Pop, 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 pop. And they try to smack it away. So what was the DC on the? Uh, yeah, they, they put themselves out. Um, they're gonna run. Um, they just do a Luke Skywalker and go like. Yeah. Uh, do, they're gonna do, run does over. Luke do that? To yeah, in um, Last, Last Jedi. Jedi. Oh. Um, the two headed creature will uh, run 40 feet over towards Ivor. Oops. Uh-oh. Ivor. Oops. Yes. 40? Yes. yes. One, two, three, five, 10, 15, 20. Um, and we'll uh, go ahead and attack Ivor uh, with its big old battle axe. Uh, 17 to hit. It's going to hit. So we have... Imner, snap your little fingers and disappear them. 16 slashing damage. All right. So actually just, just eight. eight. And then its second attack is going to be 21 to hit. Yep. Um, which is going to be... Eight damage. Oof. So four. So four. Down to twelve. Baby. Um, You've been hurting me. 
Okay, uh, the one that is upon um, Jasmine is going to attack Jasmine with its first attack, which is going to miss, and its second attack, um, which will hit with 16. Ivor, do you have any ranged attacks? Yeah, they're just not great. Because if you move backwards a little bit, I can get... They, they aren't going to be able to move. Mm-hmm. So if you move backwards, I can do one of my, my big boy Your hits. Your fireballs, yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, gonna to drop an attack, but then I'll, yeah. Oh, and then you can move. Yep. Okay. Ten well, they might get an attack for you. Jasmine. Okay. Um, I think, okay, so these these two dinguses are, are going to use their movement to stand up. Um, mm-hmm. And then they will uh, each take out their javelin and will try to attack Lovey. On top of the, still on top of the, yeah, the building. Um, let's see. Did Gore Blood take any fire damage? Uh, no, I think he was out of range. Um, ten to hit Levy. Isn't nope. she still on top of the building? She is, but They're it's like a uh, slope up from the rubble, so mm. they can see her. Um, I'm guessing eleven will also miss. Yep. Okay. Um, so they will both miss with their javelins, and then so, they'll be very sad that they oh, now gotcha. don't have their javel- javelins anymore. Um, I think that's all the bad guys. Um, there's going to be down the road that way. Um, three orcs will appear. It appears that they have circled around oh, shit. Um, the side of the town what are we supposed to doing do? devastation. Um, and then this one is going to pop out this alleyway by uh, Willow God there, and this one will come up the alleyway yeah. by Jasmine there. Oh boy. Jesus. Um, oh boy. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of fellas. What are we supposed to do? What what's what's, what's um, the vibe? Okay. Uh, that, I believe, is all the baddies. Um, <laughs> who's next? Me? Ivor. I'm going to. You should throw a smite on one of these. Oh yeah, you better believe it's gonna be on there. I'm gonna throw a, a beat down on more gore blood. <laughs> Poopinator. 16? Uh, that'll hit. You. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna throw a smite on here. My last smite. Yes. Nine. 12. 14 damage. Nice. Nice. Uh, oh, he's not dead yet. I know. Maybe if they see us kill Gore the blood. eviscerator, they'll be like, Nyeh. Absolutely. And then I'm going to disengage. Okay. And that's my movement, right? That's how disengage works? Yes. Okay. Is that good enough for me to... I can just get close. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, J- mm, Lovey. 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 So we just decided, we think, since they're just more and more keep coming, maybe if they see Big Honcho over here, the Eviscerator, yeah. Hoopinator. We should target Goreblood, in my if, opinion. Yeah, if we if they see him fall, maybe they'll all be like, and scatter. I believe okay. that. So maybe we should focus on well, him. Well, let me, let me shoot, uh... Also, if you need health, I guess you can. I don't know. Let me shoot a flaming arrow at or blood. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um. Seventeen. Mm, that hits him, right? <clears throat> that does. Yes. That does hit him. Nice. If only he was actually all furry like that. Because then he would just, mm. all of his fur would catch a flame. Nine damage. All right, nine damage. That's pretty damage. good. Uh, he's looking pretty messed up. Yeah. Ew. And then I would also like to... Um, okay. Uh, who's next? Jasmine. Jasmine. Um, magic missile time. Oh, reliable. All right, she magic missiles the guy right in front of her. To uh, death? Nope. Ugh. 
Not quite. Um, and then she's going to shift backwards. Away from them. Like this? Yeah, but then she'll turn around and she'll see um, the three coming up <gasps> the road and she'll be like, uh, guys, this isn't very good. Uh, let's, let's kill Punkinator. Hold, hold your ground. We have them on the run. Um, that sounded like an NPC in a video game. I don't know why. <laughs> Just the delivery of that. Hold your ground. We have them on the run. <laughs> it sounds, yeah. That's so good. All Something right. you would hear ten times because yeah, you keep right. dying at that one uh -huh. spot. So uh, who's <laughs> after Jasmine? Hold, hold your ground. We have them on the run. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Imner is after Jasmine. Imner is after Jasmine. All right. Imner is going to... Uh, go ahead and just kill the one that uh, Jasmine was going after. Good. Um, so that one is out of the race. Um, you! And then uh, he will go ahead and give Jasmine some health back. Good. Um, yeah, boy. So she's, she's doing all right. Um, but yeah, so that'll be that'll be Imner there. Uh, who's next? Emmy. It's me. It's me. Okay. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Willow just walks there. Yeah, it's Burner. I still have this weird, like, salve that Lovey put on me. So I'm, I'm just, like, kind of crusting up a little bit with this, like, weird <laughs> lotion. You don't even know what it was. No, I'm just like, okay. Does it feel better? So though? I feel like I'm all badass, but I'm, I just look like I have a bad rash on all of my skin, and it's fine. No problem. At least I look pretty. Okay. Fireball, tell me about it. Okay, I have to get quite close if that's the case. Oh no, I can kind of stay where I'm at. I don't want to be next to you though. Um, and then if that's the case, it's that 20 foot radius again, so like, Five, ten. <laughs> that would get them, right? Or is it... If it radiates off of him, or originates off of him, it would be two out. Yeah. So it wouldn't get if he's, if he's two away from... He's three away. Okay. So it would just get one, two, three. I think so? Yeah. So I am going to do my little thing. I'm going to speak because I'm getting scared that there's so many people here. So I'm just going to speak it <laughs> like, like normal. Um, and then I, so that would be a, a what save? Come, come. Come, come, children. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. And they have to beat 16. <sighs> um, Gore blood succeeds. Ah. That's okay. Two heads. Fuck you, Goreblood. Um, does not succeed. And then the other orc um, does not succeed. Okay. Okay. Wait, 86? Okay, I'm going to have to roll a few more after this. Does somebody have a... Want to calculate? Yes. For me? Oops. Mm. Pretty? Yes. Um, six plus six plus five plus five plus one. And then I need to do... 23. Okay, but I still have to roll a few more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more. So 23 plus six plus six plus four. Wow. 39 39. Damage. So on a failed good. save, they get 39 damage. Okay. Uh, um, Poopinator, I think, succeeded, right? Yes. So 39 halved, halved um, is a math that I don't know about. 18? 19? 19. 19. 19.5. So mm -hmm. I don't know which way you want to roll. roll it. That's fine. You just How's it usually 19. go? Um, yeah. Round it. Down? I think down, yeah. yeah. I'll do 19 then. I can't remember. But 39 for a big boy and... It's pretty damn good. Yeah. It's pretty...
pretty damn good. And then I just go scratch, scratch. Um, gore blood goes down. <gasps> Woohoo! You. We love to see that. Um, he. <laughs> he held in there for a second. And this was this was a fireball. Yeah, this is fireball. Uh, so he just flame. gets engulfed in flames. You see his skin bubble and There's pop and just flames. crust Ooh. over, and then uh, yeah, and just Willow is doing this. Um, <laughs> the two head thing. Um, it's an Eaton, is what it's called. Mm-hmm. Uh, extra, you know, even more burns um, all over. Not happy. Um, the guy on the right uh, is still up, but looks absolutely destroyed. Seriously, I thought this guy had already been beaten on, and then thirty nine points. Nope. That guy hadn't been beaten on. Jesus. Um, Jesus. So you can go ahead and take gore blood off the field. Good riddance. Um, and uh, the um, the okay, yeah, that's that. That's a pretty good turn. That's my turn. Very good turn. And I I read the components, so nothing happens there. Nice. Uh, who's next? Baddies. Baddies. Um, the Eden uh, <coughs> one head will say. Oh shit, that school blood though. He just, just went down also. I'm on fire! <laughs> um, and the other one will say, Well, gents, I think we've been beaten today. I think uh, this might be a perfect opportunity to turn tail and live to fight another day. I have more energy in me if you want to keep fighting. I oh. think my friends do too. Yeah. Come up here. I know, the other head's got a good point. Let's leave. <laughs> um, and uh, you said it's the baddie's turn? That's what yeah, I'm talking about. Okay. Yep. Uh, they will all turn and begin beating a hasty retreat. Um, all except for uh, the one that's been really badly beaten. Um, this guy? Yes. Oh, okay. He's going to take one more swing at Ivor. Um, <laughs> really <laughs> fuck him injury. up. Yeah. And as he s- raises his um, axe, uh, a glowing uh, white arrow will appear out of the sky oh. pierce through his skull oh. um, and just sort of like uh, you know in Half-Life 2 the the uh, crossbow bolts that just sort of yeah. nail people yeah. to things yeah. um, it will like impale his head and then drag his head back all the way to the wall wow. and just stick him into it um, the Eden will look up and say oh it's an arrow from the sky it is and then both of its heads will get <gasps> Ooh. Um, Whoa. With these, these From golden the arrows. Sky. Um, and sky. a through the smoke that's now uh, accumulated above you from all the burning carts and buildings and such, um, you see like a bright light start to sort of burn a hole in this in these clouds of dark smoke. Are you guys seeing this too? I just want to be sure. Um, all around you. Ivor only sees blood. The. Oh. Um, orcs that had begin begun to turn to run, um, um, all over just start falling from these. Oh my God! These uh, where light were these arrows. magical arrows? You see just a rain them. all over town because there there are orcs all around um, that are getting hit even outside of your your sphere. I kind of cover um, my head. I'm like, I mean, is this? Uh, I <laughs> he crouches by the cabbages. Um, any orcs that haven't already been hit uh, that you can see on the outskirts of town just start to uh, flee. <coughs> Wait, what happened to Jasmine's bird? Did they um, just... He's been flying around. <laughs> She's like, tell me what happened. And he's like, all right, but I'm going to wait it out for a while. <laughs> I'll let you know. But <laughs> um, The sounds of battle around the town start to quiet as, as the whatever remaining orcs made it out start to flee. Um, and... Uh, you in the in the place of of these sounds of battle um you begin to hear voices um just sort of from the sky um it's like they kind of sweetly hum in a calm and kind of formless melody um and this bright light descends through the smoke and landing on the ground before you you see what appear to be five winged humans whoa angels Angels. Imner turns uh, to uh, you four and says, "It would appear that we have been saved by angels." Is does he? he like, does, does he, he hate them? Is he like? He is does. He does do this. this because yeah. I'm on top of a building. Yes. Still? 
It appears, it appears. we have been <laughs> saved by saved by angels. Um, with a, a tone of disdain and annoyance, because it, you guys had clearly beaten these guys before yeah. they showed up. Um, we're gonna take a well. That's that's where the act break was would be, but we can just keep going since everyone's sleeping. We gotta get through it. Cool. Um, okay. Let me pull out Ambient Two. Um. All right. Uh, Lovey, you're gonna stay up there. Or you're gonna come down. She just like sits I'll down. Climb down. All right, you climb down. Uh, the angels begin approaching you from this way. Um, Imner kind of uh, whispers to you for now that Lovey has joined. These angels are messengers of the gods. They, they are. Wait, gods? They are angels. Yes, they are angels, uh-huh. and they are quite pretentious, <laughs> and often useless. And they favor inaction, and they always claim to be too busy in in more godly matters. That they are, look, they are not to be trifled with. They may choose to rarely act, but that does not mean that they couldn't harm us uh, without much effort. So you're saying we have to like stay on their good side? Yes. Oh. Um, Emner is going to turn back to the angels, um, which are approaching you, and address them. To what do I owe the pleasure? Um. Uh, and then he, he continues. I appreciate your aid in dispelling those nasty creatures. However, we were quite capable of finishing off the rest of them. And I find your presence here disturbing, as my lady does not usually send emissaries to deliver messages to me when she could speak for herself quite easily. This lady. Um, the, yeah, what lady? The, most, the closest winged man, Angel, um, replies, We come not on behalf of the goddess Mistral, but... Ooh. A plurality of the Pantheon as well. Ooh. Well, I hope it is more important than the journey we, are, or we already find ourselves on. Always a pleasure to speak with an angel, but we have dire circumstances to contend with. The angels look gravely at Imner. Our nature here is entwined with your journey. The gods all have great interest in seeing your goals accomplished. We bear news you might want to be aware of. <sighs> Pray tell. What do the gods wish to tell me? Says Imner with a faint smirk. The blood wars have stopped, the angel says. Imner's brow furrows. That is surprising, but I hardly think the border squabbles between- Oh, oh wow. The border squabbles between an immortal fiends and their apparent, or their apparent armistice for that matter, would affect our mission here. One of the angels, behind the lead angel, steps forward and looks down at Imner, who towers over him. Uh, who he, whom he towers over. The angel towers over Imner. Uh-huh. Yeah. You are arrogant, mortal. You are lucky the goddess Mistral holds you in such high regard. And luckier still that our interest in your quest's, su- your quest's success is not lessened by the tone you choose to take with us. The lead Ooh. angel puts his hand on the second angel's shoulder and steps in. We believe the armistice between the demons and the devils was orchestrated by a human, that he brokered this treaty so as to free up a large amount of magical energy that would otherwise be claimed by the powerful mages in Hell's ranks. There was a great ripple in the weave some nights ago. Did you feel it? Imner nods. Very great, indeed. The human cast a powerful spell, and the stars have begun to shift. How so? Their implications bend towards new ends. Destinies have altered and point towards a terrible event. A prophecy? Of the third kind. Oh, by the way, this chapter is called A Prophecy of the Third Kind. Cool. (laughs) Um, Imner puts his palm to his forehead. Malfestus, you fool. How could you be so reckless? You fool. What does the prophecy foretell? A powerful magician shall slay the goddess Mistral in order to take the power she holds for himself. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Power for a magician will slay goddess Mistral. In order to take her power for himself. To take her power. Okay. Oh. Imru's face changes to sort of dull stunnedness. I, I did not expect... The angels all look towards the skies. We can bring you where you need to go to expedite your journey. Where shall we take you? Dragonland. Uh, t- 
to the mountains to the east. We must speak with the elves. The angels nod and hold out their arms, beckoning to let them carry you. Like a baby. Like a baby. definitely <laughs> carry me like a baby. Jasmine says, you're going to carry us? Uh, Imner begins to begrudgingly allow the muscular lead angel to pick him up. They're very gentle, Jasmine. It'll be a comfortable ride. Can I, uh, quickly, you might see um, Willow, like, very uh, hastily take her water skin and just try to, like, clean off <laughs> the goo on her arms really quick and kind of slick down her hair and everything. <laughs> Gotta look nice for the okay. they're, they're all very pretty. She's, yeah, she's, she knows. Um, once, uh, do you do all allow the angels to pick you up? Um, can I pick my angel? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you just go up to the, <laughs> whichever one you like want. It's like picking a horse. Like, you gotta, like, if it nuzzles you. <laughs> I kind of walk around. What do I see? Can I make a search check? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah or ahead. vibe check, please? What do a vibe I, check. Okay, what if I don't want them to carry me? You will have a long way to walk. Did you go say something? Can they, like... Is there, like, a swing that they can hold the ropes of the swing and I sit on it. I could drag you by your legs if you would prefer. Damn. These guys are I not, not that around. one. I don't want I that one. It, I, hop in, I hop in a different one's lap. <laughs> I rolled Bad. a 17. <laughs> I rolled a 17. Do I, does anything uh, stick out to me? Like, are there any, like, There's really... a quiet, kind of shy one that, like, super, super uh, ripped. Um, Hell yeah. Lady which, or dude? Which gender would you prefer it to be? I don't care. You got a 17, you tell me. I don't know, I just want... A, okay, ripped lady. Yeah, she's uh, she's just, she's she's keeping to herself and, and okay, I'm kind of just like... she's she's jacked and glowing. Um, yeah. You, uh, you allow her jacked to pick you and up. Glowing. And I, I go in front of her and I imagine she's very tall, so I just oh, kind of yeah. like... Curtsy. She she uh, scoops no. you up and sort of smiles gently at you. I blush so hard. <laughs> um, Ivora, what's uh, what's your pick? Uh, I want like. <laughs> I don't actually. I don't care. What about the one that's been yelling at everybody? I feel like you would be a good match and just try to like. Mm, no, that's, I, no. Ivor doesn't care. He he picks uh the not that one. Ivor um, no he he doesn't and, care. Uh, Jasmine, who has been sort of stressing about which one to pick, ends up with the oh, no. angry one. No. Oh, Bart. Yeah, that's um, the opposite like, of what you'd want. Hi. Um, and uh, he, it just so says, nice. I'm yeah. going to pick you up now. <laughs> How um, long is the ride? I'm going to pick you up now. <laughs> um, Please up. enjoy the ride. <laughs> and... Uh, I hate that. <laughs> from where, uh, from where Ivor is being held by an angel, you all hear chapter one of the Diary of Coral Morts, and you see that he's cracked <laughs> on his book. Um, Bedtime story. She, there's like a, a, a kind of grin through teeth uh -huh. uh, look on your angel. Um, I'm once, trying. I'm trying to find out if, <laughs> if angels are communists. <laughs> once you've all uh, been swept up by an angel, they unfurl their powerful feathered wings and take off in a rush of air and dust. As you climb above the village, you can see how much damage was done to it. Nearly every building was was starting to burn. I do not see any of this. I am looking oh, yeah, at my yeah, big yeah, muscular lady. Um, those of you who do look, uh, <laughs> nearly every building has begun to burn. Um, the houses along the paths are, are burning as well. There's, I wonder how Crazy Pals is doing. Um, oh. Does everyone want to make a, make a little look? Yeah, well, not yeah. Willow, but. I'm not. Uh, I'm, yeah. 15. Fi 15. Uh, Jasmine does not notice. Two. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you fifteen. You, you know what? Um, you don't see a body, which is which okay. Is a good sign. I'll take that it. That's a good sign. Um, we'll we'll maybe maybe a quick episode. shadow darting between buildings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll be back for you, crazy paws, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but there are many bodies. It looks like most of the town. Like you put up a good fight, but there was just so many orcs that. Um, yeah, and I you can imagine. see now they were by the time you guys were done with your fight they had gotten like all around the village they were like you got you took out a lot of them in the center but Jesus. they got everywhere um, I you can it looks like a lot of people maybe rushed out of town but I bet a lot a of lot people, of people did, did out, not make it out but, yeah um, Jasmine looks up at at the angel carrying her and says what about the villagers their fates 
still lie with us. Wait, this is Jasmine's one? Yeah. Jasmine's one is mean. Oh, yeah. Their fates still lie with us. Keyboard? Only stopping the prophet will bring safety to our worlds. This is like Galadriel when she's like, they shall have a queen! Yeah. Like that. Um, <laughs> the flight yes. is long and windy. Their arms are pretty comfy, but um, it's a long I, ride. I tell men, like, I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> what does she do? Wraps further. Um, so wraps Starts further. to radiate energy. Do you have a name? Energy. Mm, What's nice. your name? Um, but it's also a very beautiful ride. It's very beautiful. Soaring, <laughs> soaring above the fields. Fall soaring yeah? above the fields nice. is a kind of a rare experience as the sun begins to set and the sky turns warmer colors. Um, the experience is is only heightened by you know the the beauty around. Just as the sun begins to set, the angels uh, descend and land at the edge of a wood. Um, they allow you to disembark, and then the lead angel says, "We cannot take you further. The elves would not appreciate it." Imner. You know the way. Thank you for coming to me. You have done us all a great service, warning me of the prophecy. I am glad it is appreciated, as this is all we are permitted to do. The gods fight in a terrible battle as we speak, and we must return to the fields of war for now. We can help you no further on your journey. Only the goddess Mistral will watch over you now, as you must now watch over her. Indeed. The angels take off. With wait, 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 wait. Um, Can I ask for a number? <laughs> Will we ever see each other What's again? your heaven number? It is unlikely. I have great wars in the sky to attend to. But I must say, of all the flights I've took, this was the one with a human. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, wow. The angels take off and fly away into the darkening, the darkening sky. And you can see they glow a bit, so that it takes a while for them to disappear. I go up to Imner. I'm like, I like angels. <laughs> Don't you? Yes, they are very majestic, and they are also pretentious jerks. Mine wouldn't drink with me. I don't. I, I completely believe that. I, that does not surprise me. Like I said, pretentious jerks. Yes. Um, what, what angel did I have? What kind of angel did I have? Um, well, you fell asleep, so you didn't like get a whole lot of vibes. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, just just a really angely comfy. angel. So comfy, angel -y. probably very soft. So Such an angely angel. Up. Yeah. Now come, we have a short walk ahead of us. Imner <laughs> creates a little blue flame in his hand and uh, illuminates the wood ahead of you. Um, imagine you have some questions. When will we see angels again? Probably never. Um. What 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 was that? All yeah. of that about? Who is the the what's her name? Mistral, yeah. The Mistral. I've never heard you talk about her before. Mistral is the goddess of magic. She is magic. Magic flows from her and forms her, and she guides and cares for the weave that we use to affect so our magic. So if something happened to her, or, or if somebody else was in charge of protecting the weave, it could completely change the way we use magic? If Malfestus is, is able to do what he wants to do, when he is able to do what he wants to do. There will be no more magic. You, he is too foolish to understand what he is trying to do. He wants to slay the goddess Mistral to absorb her power, but that is not how it will work. She will does die and that? magic will go away. And he does not understand So then that. he's stupid. Yes, he's a fool. Didn't you teach him? I, yes. Ooh, I didn't. Ooh. I'm sorry, Imner. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, how can this person have so much power and be so ignorant? Power is not an indicator of intelligence. Mm. It may often come with it, but it is not an indicator, nor are they correlated. Many powerful people are fools, and many weak people 
are brilliant. He has created a prophecy of the third kind. What does the third kind yeah. mean? Well, there are three types of prophecy. The first type is a prophecy where a god will speak to their followers and will say, this is something I believe might happen. Please stop it. Usually it is, it is a warning to the followers to try to stop something from occurring. It is not... It is only a god's idea of what might happen based off of their knowledge of the world and how things usually happen. Prophecy of the second kind is when people look at the, the stars, the natural world, and, and try to divine what might happen based off the probability that exists in the world, what is most probable to happen, and they analyze that and try to figure out what is most likely to happen. A prophecy of the third kind involves old magic, and it requires the use of a, a powerful ritual where the magician will impose their desire of, for events, future events, onto the world. They will use magic to force a future event to occur, and it is unavoidable. It has rewritten the stars, and what happens in this prophecy will happen. A powerful magician, Malfestus, will slay the goddess Mistral. Then what are we supposed to do? What are we expected to do? <sighs> we must speak with the elves. They are my longtime friends and they are very wise. And hopefully with their help, we can figure out something to do. Does this change? With what we were going to do with the dragon? That must still happen, but we need to make this pit stop to speak with... Pit stop. With the elves in Everesca, their enclave here in the woods. Uh, um, but to think that Malfestus broke a treaty with demons and fiends to have a ceasefire in the blood wars. The blood wars are this endless war between the agents of hell and the abyss. How They'll never, he... they would never. Unless he had leverage. Unless he had a, a very good reason, at something that the others He must have... have offered each of them something great in return. It is difficult to barter with demons or f or devils and come out on top. I bet I could do it. I bet you could. That is a good attitude to have. Don't test it, though. I, I, <laughs> okay. Um, you don't want to find out if you're wrong. Um, you continue walking through the forest. Uh, it is a pretty short walk. Um, and as Aemner continues going on about, oh, such a fool and blah, blah, blah. Mm. Suddenly... You hear a voice say, uh, well, first of all, you feel a blade at each of your necks. Ooh. And you hear a voice suddenly say, right there at the top. Tread no further or perish, interlopers. And that's where we'll end. Joseph! Why did Joseph read it? Why indeed. Oh, Why? It's Legolas. The, uh, the dwarf, the, the dwarf breathed so heavily we could have shot him in the dark. <laughs> but we didn't because we forgot our arrows. <laughs> <laughs> These are our fake arrows. Um, okay. Introducing well, that's, that's, uh, Joseph character 2, 2.0. What's up, y'all? I totally forgot to, to give you guys the chapter title. So the first you chapter did. was Goreblood the Eviscerator. The second chapter was Divine Intervention. That's fine. And the third chapter was Prophecy of the Third Kind. Nice. Alright, um, let's recap and get out of here. Well, like a, like a stew to which one has added a... A, 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 a large thing of... No. <laughs> <laughs> like a stew that one has added a large thing of roux to, the plot does thicken.
There you go. Um, ooh, I'm I'm very excited about this whole. I don't know if we're actually going to have any involvement with the blood war, but just getting the name drop was cool. Yeah. Um, okay, what is the? Yeah. Blood so this war? is. So the abyss and hell are kind of in a different dimension. They are right next to each other. They kind of have a border, and the demons in the abyss and the devils in hell hate each other. Um, the demons uh, really want to expand from the abyss into hell mm -hmm. um, and on the other side of hell is like the way to like the mortal world so mm -hmm. um, the the devils kind of keep them at bay mm -hmm. um, not for everyone but like it helps everyone to keep the demons at bay so in um, a weird way the devils are the good guys <laughs> yeah they yeah the devils um, are like is... the devils are like orderly and they are very bureaucratic. I was gonna say yeah, I've written this right. down because of Darkle yes. and Adelai Darkle's a devil, yes. right? Darkle's, Darkle's a, devil. a devil, right? The demons are like chaotic, and they just want to like consume and yeah. like ravage everything. So the yeah. fact like that Malfestus could broker a treaty between these two—that's something else. It is like that has taken him from like, ha -ha, I'm the bad guy to like Jesus Christ. This oh, is damn. multiversal. Yeah. Some yeah, and and his plan is to try to take over as the god of magic right from but he doesn't but it's not a, nobody can tell him that that's not the way it works that like he's done the prophecy now has he not mm -hmm. has he done research you know like enough to know how to make prophecies clearly not into mystery so that was what he was doing that we saw with devos last episode yes. we the the flashes may have been um part of the prophecy because now things oh. are set in stone certain events are going to happen so i keep it's, waiting it's, for again, them mistral will die at the hands of a powerful Which, magician who wants to i'm slay very her to concerned it's going to be me <laughs> i'm very concerned that the prophecy is just a little bit fuzzy and it's going to be me yeah, that kills it her specifically say malfestus you have been saying what he. if it was imner i said mm. a that's what I was thinking of first. A powerful first. magician will slay the what? goddess Malfestus in order to take her power. And he'll he's gonna smile. Imner smiles. He, he, he. I was I was thinking for a second. Imner like, smiles. I know. So let's read this again. Okay. I want to believe that it just means he's gonna be happy. Dwarves with red mm -hmm. chainmail, a wooden door with golden gears. Six people standing like by a waterfall, under a, looking waterfall, at a waterfall, looking at a waterfall. Oh, it's six people. That could be us. True. Imner, Jasmine. Golden woman uh, falling uh, to a snowy tower. Uh, uh, uh. Golden woman. That's that's Mistral. Golden woman falling to the snowy tower. I bet she's the god. She's falling uh -huh. from heaven or whatever. Uh -huh. Fabric of to energy. To Imner's tower. Yep. At fabric, a snowy tower. Snowy oh, tower. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The fabric of energy, which is the weave, mm -hmm. we that is going to change. Mm -hmm. So in the prophecy, we know that that will change. And then Imner smiles. So I'm just waiting for dwarves and red chainmail to show yeah, up. Yeah, when the and dwarves like, ah! show up, you know shit's about to go down. <laughs> oh, fuck dwarves. Six people though. That's interesting. It's us. I, I bet it's us. It's us and the then... numbers. The numbers right. So. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Jasmine. Jasmine Imner. Imner. Crazy paws. <laughs> crazy <laughs> paws! It all comes know. back around to crazy paws. Who else? No, I think it could be we could get our Gimli and our Legolas. I think that could happen. Yeah. And the fellowship Hi. was six. <laughs> um, any other thoughts on the episode today? Had some good ground bird. That was, was your good. arc for that was my today. Arc. That was today's arc. It was Ground Bird. <laughs> Loved Crazy Paws. Crazy Paws. I'm fan. I'm team Crazy Paws all I the way. I need to figure out how to be more helpful in combat. combat. You I need to find objects to that are on things. You, yeah. I think. I think the ball bearings were good. Yeah. You should get oh. caltrops. What's that? They're like spikes that sit on the ground. It's the same thing. You like throw them out. Okay. And if you move through a square where they are, you have a chance of taking damage. Okay. You should get like 
vials of oil that you can throw alchemist's fire on like set that. like what you can do from being up in a perch like that mm -hmm. is depending on the range of thrown weapons you can kind of like change the battlefield tactically you know okay. like you can you could create choke points or you could bombs i, I mean get explosives. yeah you're like changing like look mm -hmm. at all of what happened here i mean i destroyed the carts but like yeah. with the ball bearings that is very useful you're creating stuff that just gets in the way of people which mm -hmm. slows down them getting to us yeah. meanwhile you can shoot arrows you can do your own thing so yeah. like i like the fires that might set out randomly mm -hmm. you just got to make sure that you have like you were talking about whatever flame alchemist fire, alchemist mm -hmm. fire that's something I need to, I yeah need to get the things yeah yeah just Maybe and elves try, have the try to figure out yeah try to figure out things that are useful that that can be useful in that context you know Speaking of what elves, else. who what was Joseph voicing? Another I like, character. I feel like Fletcher's gonna like throw us like the Star Wars thing and give us. But this time oh, it's gonna, just one person. It's, right it's now. just me playing D and D with Fletcher while you yeah. guys sit and watch. <laughs> like, Fletcher's like, okay, guys. guys, you're gonna have to take a leap of faith with yep. me again on this one. <laughs> it's just me. It's just gonna be me and Joseph playing D and D for we'll four just hours. Watch. Down I'm down. trying to go back into my notes and find because I remember writing the differences between um, the devils and the um, demons and whatnot. Also, I had a really quick moment of like, oh my god, but then I walked it back because the six people under the waterfall mm -hmm. here, there were six statues in the chapel, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh my god, but it six was six statues in which chapel? In the chapel at the end of your thing where there was the elf spider thing there was a dog creature and we know two of them yep we know two of them because one was a humanoid with ancient armor mm -hmm. that's your new character going into joseph's game mm -hmm. bayard. that was bayard, bayard. Yep. and then humanoid small Darkle. horns and that birthmark on hand which was my daddy and so and the squirrel could be anyone yeah really <laughs> you never know the yeah. know. you gotta watch out for those squirrels you really do yeah, maybe me and Fletcher could be Keenor time traveling back in time as Oh world. fuck. That would suck. Keenor is Devos and this is his redemption arc. I hate that. No, Devos is supposed to be my my boy. Your baby boy. It can't be Keenor. You're I'm... like you're like, I have two main love interests in this game. One's an angel and one's my enemy. Exactly. I of course it's enemy. Star crossed lovers. Enemy to lovers, that's the best. Ooh. So okay. He's your Zuko. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. I'm Katara and he's my Zuko. Bad boy Devos. Yes. I love it. You're saying Katara and Zuko? Yeah. Yeah. That's like they the have a great Katuko. Katuko, yeah. No, that's... it's they Zutara. actually Zutara. Zutara. Zutara's Zutara. way better. Than Katuko. Yeah, you know, Katara and Zuko, they were like they they thought that that was they gonna be. They were going to do Katara and, and then they Zuko. were Nickelodeon was like, no, Aang and Katara have to end up together. They're like, okay. fine, whatever. Fine. Soy, but they have those moments Aang. which are nice but yeah so cool cool fight i honestly love this wasn't entirely planned but like i love the the locations recently and the maps yeah like look at how much yeah. this changed you know dynamic maps are fun that's so cool and like with the alleyways i like that there were like there were like points where the orcs yeah I think yeah. it's really cool. And like with it's Molly, so you refreshing. adding your stuff with like the ball bearings because then it's yeah. difficult to rain. I'm definitely going to change up stuff. the battlefield. I love that. That's, that oh, dude, that, that, is, that, that could be so useful. Yeah, Seriously, it, it really it could be. And it, yeah. yeah, I love that. I think that's super cool. Yeah, getting, stuff to getting jump up onto half bombs. cover. Yep. So yeah, I, I like that a lot. I think that was yeah. cool. Think about that. Yeah, think fun fun it. fun map. Good. Fun, fun maps. I like fun maps. It's it's okay if like where you're fighting is just like a big open space. It's yeah. fine. I do that a lot. But then your monsters have to be like unique enough to like compensate for that. But if you're yeah. fighting like pretty vanilla monsters, it's great to have like. And I appreciate I appreciate the interesting maps because like my fighting style is definitely not open field. Right. Because if you had an open field, no Lovey would climbing. be yeah. like, what am I gonna yeah. do? You gotta get that three di three dimensional space going on. Yeah. Dog. So I thought I thought that was really cool. Yeah. All right. Good. Any last thoughts? I'm so glad to be back. I'm excited. I've been, I've been so yeah, I've been missing it. hungry for D and D. Yes. And we're some stuff is happening. You know, yeah. like some big stuff. 
Um, I definitely feel like we're in, you know, the midst of a, a long oh, arc. Dude, shit is getting so real. Yeah. And I'm so into it. So, guys, um, this might be an opportunity that we won't have very often, but uh, Ava's out of town next week, which means that I'm not, I don't like really have any obligations. Mm -hmm. We could do, a, we could play again next week. And we're out of town next week. We're out of town during the weekend. Oh, yeah. all of you guys. Oh, we're, Is that we're, the Illinois? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So the 9th, you guys are going 10th, to Illinois? and 11th, we're out of town. Yeah, mm. I'm going to um, be, I'm going to stay in Chicago. Yep, for you're out of town for the, till you're gonna have nobody. Tuesday, and then Shay's <laughs> leaving on Wednesday. So, yeah, we're, we're probably out of commission. When, when do you get back from? The 20th. Okay, so the 18th is also out. I'm going to have to go make friends. And then the I'll be here. 25th is also out because me and Ava are doing a pop-up that night. So we should find a day. <laughs> we should day? <laughs> We should find... We could do a weekday. Thursday the 22nd. What's Thursday the 22nd? It's the day I have off. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, as far as I know... Friday the 16th. Are there any Mondays? Oh, wait. Shay's out of town for the 16th. Yeah, sorry. Thursday the 22nd might be able to work. The 19th? No, Shay's out of town. However, Monday the 26th. Um, no. We're still going to be a man kid that day. Mm. God damn it, dude. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> that I mean, was we, really good. That was a good I hand do kill. a good hand kill. You I do. do a good hand kill. Um... The only thing that I could do to circumnavigate work, short of taking a day off work, which I'm hesitant to because I just took a bunch of time off, is we could play in the morning, but I don't know if that's... Um, did you say... I work in the morning. Uh, yeah. Time. All of them? Um, Depends. The 12th. Monday the 12th. I know you're out of town, mm -hmm. but like we could still hang out. So... Yeah, we can, we can hang out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, Monday it's, the 12th. I can do Monday the 12th. Wait, why am I out of town on the 12th? You're not. Molly's out of town. Oh, sorry, Molly. I was like, why am I gone? But yay, I'm in town. <laughs> yay. So we could do something, you know. Yeah, we'll hang out. Yeah. But just like I, so just, we won't be able to do D&D &D until. Yeah, it'll be a minute before we can pick this game up again. I mean. What's October 2nd? That's a Sunday. As far as I know, nothing. All <laughs> right, guess, well, that might be the. I guess that's next probably one. when we're playing October next. October um, second. What are we doing on the twenty sixth? Um, Sunday. I mean, October. Monday. It's a Monday. Shay, when is your next out of towning? So the twenty. The I'll 20, be back on the twentieth. So I'm. The twenty fifth and the twenty sixth, I will be in Mankato. Oh, okay. Right, because right, right. me and yep. Ava are having our pop up on the twenty fifth, and we'll still be in Mankato on the twenty sixth. Gotcha. Tidying, October tidying things up. October second, Sunday, October second seems yeah. to be the day. Yes. Okay. I think we should all quit our jobs and um, play D and D full time. Yeah, yeah. I it's think just, that would be great. It's tough because like we all try to have Sundays off, and then that's also one of the days that we have to do everything else. Yeah, right, right. Unfortunately, it's like <clears throat> God, our real lives get in the way. I I've genuinely been like I like my job a lot right now, and I mm -hmm. I probably have it for a little bit longer at the very least if I don't get a chef position there. Yeah, but I'm genuinely like. Should I make? Should I like make sure my next job is an AM thing, like Maybe. like nine, like get a nine to five or That's get what even, he did and even he loves earlier? It. You feel better because the world is geared towards that. Exactly. Yeah, I know it's it's fucking stupid, but honestly, yeah. honestly, like yeah, like I've I've been for a while when I first started working at the moon, I was working like nights and like closing shifts, mm -hmm. and then I would be staying up. To until, compensate for the time. Right. Yes, yeah, so right. I would actually have time exactly. to do things. And then also that's like when the people I know are mm -hmm. awake mm -hmm. too. So I'd be staying up to like five or six. Yep. And then oh, sleeping. Oh God. And then sleeping in That was work. my schedule yeah. for the oh. longest time too. Yeah. So I, I, do I do prefer, even though I'm not a morning person, mm -hmm. I like having my nights open because that's when I like to do stuff for me. That's yeah, when me a lot too. of people like to do stuff. Right. Yeah. So yeah. like I would, even though... Huh? Night. Good night. Good night. Um, yeah, I, I do prefer getting off earlier and starting mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. so that we that way I can spend the rest of my night, you know. The only yeah. downside to that is that I can't also stay up very late, which is natural to me to just go to sure. bed at 3 a.m. Yeah. 
Um, I'm an early riser, so it would work for me. I know it's hard to be an early riser. <laughs> So no, and it sucks because I totally do feel so comfortable staying up. I know, like, like I literally, I, I, my natural sleep cycle. I could go to bed at six and wake up at like two or three p.m. Yes, and that's that's, when I work that's how I want to live. But the world, the world doesn't let me do that, that, and it's not it's fair. So sad. <laughs> the world just doesn't let me live. It's the way stupid I want to. that it's geared towards a certain way because, like, yeah. Oh, I think your girlfriend's calling you. Somebody's calling you. Oh my god, she is. Yeah. I didn't do any readings that episode. Hi, baby. You're right. I thought it was cool last time, though. Hi, how you doing? The one that fell out, was that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. What's up? All right. Uh, oh, yeah, bye. we're done. Love you. Thank you. You did a good job. Hi. I'm, I'm going to be leaving soon.